everybody, welcome back to another Patreon only, not, it's not Patreon only, another live stream. Thank you very much for being here. This is a giveaway, and um, this is just a 95,000 subscriber giveaway. We've done these for the past, I think it's been the past like 20,000, every 5,000 increments. We did want it, I think, what, 70,000, I think, 75, 80, 85, 90, now 95. We'll do one more of these once we hit 100K. So thank you very much, everybody. And uh, basically, this was just a little contest for all you guys. Um, just the uh, only thing you have to do is um, leave a comment on the video that I posted showcasing all of these cards, which is pretty easy. I just said, what's one card, $5,000 or less, that you would love to go after if you could go after one? Um, my The card that I would like to go after, I want to go after the PSA 10 Trout. That's a $3,200 card. Um, I just, just recently did buy the PSA 9, which is slightly over a thousand, but, uh, maybe eventually down the road within the next year, save up a little bit and go after that PSA 10 and upgrade. And that's what a lot of people do that, um, have like a favorite card like that and, you know, get a, maybe a lower grade than upgrade. That's the one I'm after. Um, so we'll see what people said they're after right now uh, as we read through their comments. So the rules of this were pretty easy. Um, all you had to simply do was subscribe to my channel, which a lot of you already are. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I know sometimes maybe like, maybe you see a lot of our videos because they pop up and you're recommended or whatever. Um, but if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. You got to like the video. Um, that's easy to do. Just hit that thumbs up button. That's the 95 K video. And, uh, also, uh, leave a comment on the 95 K giveaway um, if you didn't do that yet, we'll give you a second to do that, um, right now. It was, um, it's linked in the description to this live stream. It's also, it was posted, I think, on Sunday night a few days ago. Um, actually, it's like five days ago now, but, uh, that's basically all I had to do. And, uh, we're gonna make sure you're subscribed because, uh, you know, that's the number one uh, reason we're here is to thank the subscribers. So, to make sure you're subscribed, um, you have to be publicly subscribed. And here is how you do that if you didn't already do so. Um, you have to open your YouTube uh, in a browser, so like on a computer, or if you're on a phone, you're going to have to go into like Safari or whatever you use for like internet access there. Um, once you go to YouTube there, there's going to be a little uh, icon in the upper right-hand corner, your avatar. It's like the circle shape. You click on that, it'll bring up a drop-down box. You click on settings. Once you click on settings, that'll take you to the privacy of your page, and then all you have to do is toggle off keep all my subscriptions private. Once that happens, I'll just show you right here, when your comments come up, we will see this little red dot next to your name, which means you're subscribed. Like for example, the most recent comment that we received was from James uh, James Yu, and I can see that he has been a publicly, he's been subscribed for two years now. So James, thank you very much for being publicly subscribed. Subscribe. So uh, if I do pull your comment, what will happen then is I will copy and paste you directions about how you claim your card. And it's simple It's simple enough. All you have to do is give me your um, shipping address and I'll mail it out to you. Most of this stuff is going to be a plain white envelope because they're all just top-loaded cards. Drop them in there for, I think it's like 70 cents or something like that. Uh, we've got like 200 total cards, it looks like, around there. I don't know the exact number, but it's a whole bunch of cards to give away tonight. Canadian Card Pickers with our first Super Chat says, Appreciate all the helpful stuff I've learned from your videos. Has really helped me with my collecting as well as helping my own channel. Thanks. Canadian Card Pickers, you're welcome. I really appreciate you watching tonight. Hope you guys will go over there and check Canadian Card Pickers out. And Bufa says, Jabs, I'm very glad you found the Mike Trout. I don't know if anyone's more glad than I was. Um, I was... I was really mad that it wasn't in there uh, where I was expecting it. And um, like, like some people said, with those indicator cards, a lot of the time, um, they're there. It leads to the next card. But sometimes, like if it's at the bottom of the stack, like that was a jumbo pack. So there might have been like, I don't know, 10, 12 cards. And then it was uh, a different little deck or whatever. We just missed them. And um, it just wasn't there. And then, lo and behold, you saw what happened with like just a few cards left in the break. It's just an amazing turn of events. And Let's Turn 2 says, congrats on 95K jabs. Here's the next 95K plus. Let's Turn 2, thank you very much as well. Yeah, that was definitely some last pack magic last night. I was about ready to lose my mind. All right, so here's what we got for you today. By the way, um, I went to two baseball card stores today, uh, Heather and I and, and the kiddos, and uh, man, there's some good stuff there. They actually, both owners knew who I was, and one of the owners says, hey, do you want to go down into my basement? It's like really creepy, but it's filled with cards. 
And uh, so we went down there, and man, you guys are going to love seeing that one. So we got two great videos in the works uh, coming up from today. So I didn't go to any Walmarts today or anything like that. I actually did sub in one Walmart, but they weren't stocked. So I was like, yeah, I don't feel like getting around to Walmarts today. I already opened a bunch of uh, absolute blasters. There's really nothing else out there for me uh, right now. A mess of things says, saved a six-second clip to use as my alarm clock. A <laughs> mess of things. That's pretty funny. The Mike Trout... Um, just uh, craze. I, I guess I went a little nuts last night, so sorry about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. So we have this page right here. It's called Pick a Winner. It's, I'm going to upload all the comments in there. I think I gave you enough time to get your comments in if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add all of these comments in there. I'm going to take off replies and take off duplicates so that it's just one per account. So if, if you left a whole bunch of different comments, you're only going to be in there one time. Now, if your mom, dad, or whatever left comments, they're going to be in as well. It's going to take a minute to uh, load all those comments because I think there's a couple thousand. So give me a second. I'm going to go get a wipe, uh, wet wipe to clean off my screen. I think it's probably better to take... Uh, Take a few seconds and clean the screen. Uh, you know, I'm running around before these these uh, live streams all the time, trying to get the kids to bed. That's why we're a little bit late today. Um, my six-year-old was very talkative tonight. Had to keep reminding her that it is bedtime. She wanted to keep talking to her sister there. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's okay, I guess. A wet wipe, probably not the best choice, but probably leave some streaks on there and I'll have to redo it again in a little bit. But there we go. So there's 4,635 unique users. Now you might be like, wow. Well, if I've got no chance, um, well, actually you do. Because I think if we pull like 200 for 200 cards tonight, we might pull like 800 names, it seems like. Because a lot of people are going to be unsubscribed. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner for the first card. And um, then we will just, um, I'll send you an email. And I'll try to keep this moving along as fast as possible. And E.V. Sykes says, Jabs, my uncle got diagnosed with cancer. I'm sad. Really sorry to hear that, man. Um, uh, Heather and I have a loved one in the family with cancer right now as well. And uh, as you know, I'm a cancer survivor. So cancer does touch everybody. So, um, you know, just keep your head up, man. And um, stay positive. I really appreciate uh, that uh, super chat. Thanks for the support of the channel and everything. And Alexis says, good luck, everyone. And congratulations. What's everyone's favorite MLB team for me? I guess I got to go with the Buccos. They're my favorite team. Here we go. First card up, it is a, man, I guess I need to zoom out just a bit. It's a PD Hoppin autograph. Chatham says, can I see your face? <laughs> Um, I don't really do faces in my videos. First up is Nolan Hall. So, Nolan, thank you very much. And Brian says, congrats on 95. Same what happened to John's page. Yeah, my brother lost his YouTube channel. Uh, really terrible news right there. Kind of really stinks. Hopefully, uh, he did appeal it, and uh, the appeal got denied. They're going to keep him banned. Um, we're not really sure exactly what happened, but we do think it's because he was running all those auctions over there. And uh, I guess that's a no-no. But here we go. We've got... Nolan Hall, congratulations. You have won um, a prize there. So there's your information, how you claim the prize. Nolan Hall, Petey Hop and Autograph coming your way. And that's as simple as that. By the way, Nolan says he loves collecting Blue Jays cards, so that's what he would be after. Uh, thank you very much for leaving that comment, man. And uh, we're just going to keep rolling right along like that. I'll just keep pulling these cards. Next up, we have a Yadier Molina game-used bat. Game-used bat. Let's go. We'll just... Now, no one's out. I'm going to X him out. It's going to pull another um, new name here. It's going to be Colby Collins. He'd go after Acuna's first autographed. So let's check out Colby Collins. Colby. And uh, we may have multiple Colbys here. Colby is not subscribed. So you got to be, we have to verify you're subscribed. You're not publicly subscribed. So we did go over those rules a couple different times. How about Zach Cracker? Zach, let's see if he is publicly subscribed. We're going to have a lot of that, so it just increases your chances. Uh, Zach is publicly subscribed. He'd go after a Tatis rookie. I'll tell you what, I'll do a mail day soon, and uh, I'll I'll show you. I've been buying some Tatis for sure, some PSA 10s. And Ethan says, congrats on 95,000. Who's ready for the national? Ethan, Elvis covers, and more. Thank you very much. And MCB says, congrats on 95K, planning a 500 sub and 1,000 sub giveaway. More information to follow this week. And MCB... Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out those channels. we got a ton of channels uh, that do um, um, card videos. And uh, Ethan, are you going to go to the National? So check his channel. He does a lot of card content. 
as well. Uh, I think he's got like almost, what, 8,000 subscribers now almost. Zach's been subscribed for two years. So thank you very much, Zach. Next up, we have a first of uh, first rounder, Pete Crow Armstrong. A lot of autos, a lot of relics, and not a lot of vintage, not too much. Uh, Mike Trout PSA 10 Cooper's card break. Let's check out Cooper's card breaks and see if he is publicly subscribed. Cooper's and card break, singular. And the good news is he is. Congratulations. You've been subscribed for a year. I appreciate all the longtime support from you guys. Uh, Cooper's card breaks. Congratulations. Matthew says that you and your grandson are sitting there watching, waiting for the fireworks to start. That's pretty cool. Brian, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys are liking the content. Um, let you know what we've got coming up. How about a Tyler Glass now rookie card? Tyler Glass now. This is a Topps Chrome rookie, a very nice one right there. Let's see who's getting this bad boy. Glass now, of course, is hurt right now. But how about Normal Dog? Normal Dog. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Normal Dog. Um, no, he said that you should totally pick me. I'd take any card, but we got to save that for the subscribers. So we got to pick another one. How about Jesus Xmas? Let's see what we've got for Jesus Xmas. And um, no good on that one either. That's, uh, you can't take the Christ out of Christmas there. That's probably what did you in. How about Basher the Gamer? Basher the Gamer. Let's see if Basher the Gamer is publicly subscribed. And we're 0 for 3. Another non-subscriber. Nobody seems to want the Tyler Glass now rookie card. Philip Prinzi says, hey, Eric, I never see my 90K giveaway card. It was in 62 uh, Mays. Congrats on 95K. Is it safe to say USPS lost it? Philip Prinzi, um... Did you send me an email? Did you follow the rules? I probably still have it. Um, that was one of the better cards. It was unclaimed. How about let's turn two? Let's turn two and see if you're publicly. I think he should be. Let's turn two. Um, I guess I can go back into my email and see if it's there. I'll make a note of that and uh, we'll get you that card because that was one of the better ones. That I think out of the hundred some cards that were all together, um, maybe... 25 or 30 were unclaimed. Let's turn two in for some for some reason is not publicly subscribed. So that's terrible. Or 0 for 4. How about Armando Martin? <laughs> Come on, Armando. Please, let's give away this. So see, like I said, we're going to have a lot of people drawn that aren't publicly subscribed. Hey, Armando's a new guy. Been subscribed for a week. Armando, love it. I'm glad to have you aboard. And... Uh, I'll be happy to get across the uh, next threshold. The 100K line is going to be the, uh, the the big one for me. That, that's good. I'm I'm really excited about that one. I never thought we'd get there, but uh, Armando, I'd love to have you as we go across that finish line, so to speak. So uh, there's your information on how how you get your card. How about a Justin Verlander, 41 years old, future Hall of Famer? That is a nice sapphire card. Let's see who gets the Sapphire Verlander. We'll pull it and then tell you who gets it. It's going to be Michael Moto for who would also go after a Mike Trout rookie card. I think uh, a lot of people would probably go after that card. Um, and he, yeah, you are publicly subscribed. You're a new guy as well. Hey, man, thank you very much. Four days subscribed to me. I really appreciate that, Michael Moto. Got you down in the books. Your card is reserved. And basically what I'm doing here is um, once they it gets reserved, I write your name on the hard sheet or whatever. It kind of helps me a little bit when I have to track them down. And um, you also have to let me know the card as well, just, you know, in case I can't read my own crappy writing. Next up, we've got a Gary Sanchez having a nice season with Alberto Mondesi. It's a double rookie card here of two nice guys. How about... Uh, <laughs> all right, Lisa. Lisa... And uh, interesting name there. Of course, you're not publicly subscribed, so we got to do another one. How about F O M East Ham? F O M East Ham. And uh, not subscribed either. Next up, we've got Alex Carmack. Alex Carmack. I have a feeling that Alex Carmack is going to be a publicly subscribed. Face says for your 100K, you have to do a giveaway, a Mike Trout rookie or something less like Tatis. Food for thought. Phase 164. I've already talked about it a little bit with Jeff Becker. And um, congratulations. You are publicly subscribed. Alex Carmack, I really appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and reserve this card for you for the next 24 hours. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try to come up with something, um, something big like that. Um, 
for 95k i don't know when we're gonna hit that it seems to be there's the trey turner first bowman chrome card this is a great one i think uh we pulled that out of a mystery pack or something like that a lot of the cards that i get with mystery packs as you know i put them aside the best ones and then i save them for the giveaways we got Derek danner let's see if Derek danner is publicly subscribed and he is. Thanks, man. You've been subscribed for six months. You got a Trey Turner first Bowman Chrome. Derek Danner. Daniel says, was my name pulled? I'll tell you what. Um, if you don't see a comment from me, if you don't get a notification that I left you a comment or reply to your comment, then you didn't get, uh, you weren't chosen. Next up, we have a Xavier Edwards numbered out of 150. It's a first edition, so a nice... Hey, Derek Danner's in the house. Awesome, man. Congrats. Make sure you send me that email. Do not forget. Uh, Tony B. Uh, let me see if I can... Busa. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. I don't want to copy and paste your name because if I do that, um, then I totally lose my... Um, what I have. Busa. I think I screw that up. I put Busca. So, tough names. We got it. You're publicly subscribed. Thank you very much. Uh, been subscribed for eight months. Uh, Maguire 10, awesome card right there. I need to get one of those. I don't have that card yet in a PSA. I've been um, I've been probably buying a PSA 10 card a day. You know, not crazy stuff, just here and there. I picked up another one today. Um, I bet you can guess what it is. There's a Kevin Alcantara. That's a nice first... And it's a first edition as well, which is even better. He's the third best rookie in all of Bowman, and that's his first edition. Let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, I picked up the 87 tops in a PSA today. Chaos Gaming 2K. Chaos Gaming. Um, I don't want to say I'm addicted to buying PSA cards recently, and I don't know why. Maybe because um, the market's been corrected, and I, now I just want to buy like crazy. Like, everything's down. I paid 10 bucks for the PS. I, it's a PSA 8, 87 bonds. I picked up for 10 bucks today. I looked at it recently sold, and there was some going for like 14 15 I was like, that's a good deal. Let's buy it now. I'm like, I'm buying that. Um, so congratulations on the win there. Chaos Gaming 2K. You got a first edition. So that was my card purchase of the day. See? Told you. Nice, cheap. Nice, cheap card. And, uh, but a good card, a card that I really like a lot, as you guys probably know by now. Let's do a couple of rookies. How about a Kyle Lewis? This is a Chrome Home Run Derby winner. Chrome rookie card right there of Kyle Lewis. Good question there, 357. Home Run Derby winner. I, um, I talked about in the video from last night. Brian Gazzaro is um, going to get this one if he's subscribed. Let's check it out, man. I went with Joey Gallo. I feel like... Um, just Joey Gallo's having a great season. He's been on fire, especially lately. I, I'm kind of feeling him right now. Um, Pete Alonso is probably the safe pick. I think Pete Alonso and Shohei Otani are the two safest picks. But um, speaking of Kyle Lewis, let's give away this auto. How about a Kyle Lewis auto? That is a nice one right there. Kyle Lewis. Rookie auto coming up next. Who's going to get this bad boy? Joker Dog says, choose one. Ted Williams or Barry Bonds. That's crazy. Um, Nathan Dougal is going to get this one. Nathan. Now, by the way, if you're a channel member, um, that counts. So if it, ha if it has like the little green icon there, I count that as being subscribed. And he is publicly subscribed. It's been so for four months. So congratulations, man. Uh, here he is, Nathan Dougal. He's going to buy a Trout PSA 10. And guess what? You've got a very nice Kyle Lewis card coming your way right now if you follow the directions there. I'll tell you what, every time I do these giveaways, it's usually, I don't know, 80 to 100 cards or whatever. And um, for some reason, a lot of people forget to leave me their shipping address. They're like, oh, thanks for the card. I like your channel and all that. And then they forget. Jordan Walker right there, franchise favorites. I forget where we pulled that out of. But Jordan Walker is next. Uh, Simon Clark would buy a Trout 1 of 1. Clark with an E. Let's see if they're publicly subscribed. For Jordan Walker. And they are. So congratulations on that one. Good job today, folks, with the publicly subscribed channels. A lot of people were able to follow my directions. Maybe I did a better job this time of giving in the directions on the screen. Let's turn 2 says, not sure my settings show public. It's okay, though. Let's turn 2. Um, yeah, man, you, you missed out on that one. Um, I really appreciate the super chat. I don't know what the heck is, um, going on with that because it, it definitely didn't show, 
Uh, Bribe just became a channel member. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that, Bribe. There's Christian Pache, a nice sterling rookie card right there. Let's give this one away to somebody. Again, all these cards, are from, most of them are from Mystery Box Monday. A lot of them are also donated. Kev underscore 72904. Let's see if I can remember that number. Kev underscore 72904. Um, Francisco donated a bunch of great cards. I really appreciate that, Francisco, if you're watching. You really um, donated a bunch of nice ones. Some of those you'll be seeing. So, Kev, you got it, man. Thanks for so much. He would go after a Harper Trout rookie card. Um, <laughs> Ike says, honestly, I'm not 100% I'm publicly subscribed. You got to go to your settings. Hopefully you got the package I sent you. Sorry it took me a while to get that out, Ike. Um, Ike is an awesome painter, by the way. This is a nice one. And by the way, I just got reminded of that when I saw this card. Um, one of the uh, the cards in there was a 500, you know, $500 boxes. I forget what they were. Was it Tier 1 or Dynasty or something like that? But uh, I actually got this card in one of the boxes that I had, and I saved it. It's a Jordan Alvarez rookie auto out of, I think, 10 or something like that, or out of 5. Maybe it was a 5 out of 5, but I sent that off to Ike along with uh, – a bunch of unopened stuff. Phase 164 says, celebrating my birthday. I hope I can be here if I win. Phase 164, thank you for watching. If you, you can't be here live to see it, um, you'll get a notification through your whatever email that you're linked up with YouTube at that I sent you. El Pilon is going to get the very nice one right here. Let's see if they're publicly subscribed, though. Lots of people have been subscribed. El Pilon is not, so we got to do another one. For the Jordan Alvarez, um, okay, I gotta remember these letters. QXV, QXVFC, I think it was. That's a tough one, but hey, I remembered your letters there, and you won the Jordan Alvarez. Congrats on that one. I just have to rewrite all those letters on this one. QXVFC, nice Jordy right there. I love Jordan Alvarez. This is another nice one. Uh, going in, he's the fourth best rookie in all of Bowman. First best prospect, first Bowman card, and it's his first edition. Crowfam says, on lunch break, congratulations. Let's get jabs to one million. <laughs> I hope something either way. Uh, I hope I get something either way. Good luck, everyone. Crow Farm, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Ike says, I got the stuff. I love my Yordan. It's going straight into the PC. I, I figured that would be the best. I don't have a lot of singles and stuff like that. They're, they're, they're nice. I got some stuff that I pick up, but a lot of the stuff's just kind of squirreled away. I was really looking hard for an Acuna for you as well. I know I have a really great Acuna relic somewhere, but I could not find that one for you. Um, there's a DS Satriano. DS Satriano is going to get the nice first edition card right there. If they're subscribed, they are. Congrats. We'll buy a DeGrom rookie card. I'll tell you what, DeGrom's cards are already going through the roof, and they're just going to go even more and more north as, uh, who knows, he might win his third Cy Young this year. If he can just stay healthy, he's been on fire. Let's do a parallel. I think this one may have been sent by Francisco. It's a nice Nolan Arenado. It's out of 150. It's a blue parallel. So if maybe this will go to a Rockies or a Cardinals fan. It goes to Con Mize. Or Con Maze. Let's see. Con Maze is publicly subscribed. Good job with the publicly subscribed um, buttons today. Everybody. Uh, not everybody, but a lot of people, a lot uh, higher ratio of folks are subscribed to the channel now than in past times. TRM Card Breaks with a very nice super chat right there. I really appreciate that, man. How about a Hall of Famer? Pedro Martinez, game used jersey from when he was with the Mets. Piece of the pinstripe right there. Let's see what we can find. Uh, see if we can find a home for this one. How about Jack? Hey, that reminds me of Jack Townsend. I don't know if he's watching, but uh, we're working on a Mystery Box Monday. Jack is um we can't find you man i love your content keep up the great vids let's try this one more time buddy um i can't contact you or call you a winner if i can't find you um no comments from jack i will try one more time i love your content i will do that i love your content we're trying to find you jack uh, I see it. I see it right there. And there he is. He's not subscribed. So all that for a non-subscriber. But Jack, thank you very much for watching. I hope to earn your subscription. To Jorge Eckerd. Let's check Jorge out and see if he's publicly subscribed. You're the next contestant on this. Um, Jorge, you are. So congrats, man. Jorge Eckerd, I see you right there. You got the and by the way, how about that? Jorge said something about uh, let's freaking go Mets is his hashtag right there. And he's getting a Pedro Martinez Mets jersey card. That worked out for you, Jorge. That's 
Couldn't really do too much better than that. Brendan uh, Hansen says, what do you think of SGC Grading Company? I kind of like the way their cards look when they're graded. I, I, I don't know much about them. I haven't used them or I haven't bought any of their cards. I've I've been a PSA guy like my whole collecting life. Whenever I bought cards that were graded, it was always, um, this is for Trent Grisham Purple, by the way, it was always PSA. Cleveland Card Connection. How about that? Cleveland Card Connection has been around forever. Cleveland Card Connection. When I first switched over to all baseball card content, Cleveland Card Connection was on the scene, and they are publicly subscribed and a top comment. Four years. Cleveland Card Connection is the man. I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of um he's got a he's got a lot of uh, videos that he used to do. Um I know he's into racing pretty big time, so maybe get on over there and help his channel grow a little bit. Cleveland Card Connection, if you're watching, dude. Good to see you again. That's a blast from the past. Nice one right there. Congrats on the Trent Grisham. Let's do a... Uh, here's a nice one. Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie card. This is a 1982 Tops and looks to be in great shape too. Look at those corners. This isn't a card that somebody stepped on and just kind of like threw into like, I don't really want this. The back looks great. The centering looks great. Um, this was sent to me and they said I could take one card for my, well, they said you could take any card you want, but I was like, I'll keep one card for myself. And I picked out a Luis Robert rookie that I needed or wanted. And I wanted to give this one away to you guys. Cause I thought this was the best card of the lot. This is an awesome one right here. Cal Ripken rookie card in pristine condition. And it is going to go to Dom Morrill. Wouldn't that be cool if he would have said he wanted a PSA 10 Ripken 82 tops rookie card. Let's check that one out today. Dom Morrill. We actually saw a couple Ripken rookies today at the card stores. Ah, Dom, you're not publicly subscribed, so we got to pull another one. Those were the rules. If I don't see a red dot next to your name, you can't get it. How about an EJ, or E90J Mech? Let's see if I can remember all that. E90J Mech. Are you publicly subscribed? You are. It's the only comment you've ever left for me, and I'm glad to have you. Feel free to comment on any videos, E90. Really appreciate that. You got a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card now coming your way. That is an awesome one right there. Next up, we have an Aaron Savali. This is a rookie card. It's a numbered rookie card out of just 46. So low number card right there, the Savali. I like Savali. Indians are going to need all the pitchers they can get. HV23. Mark says, congrats on 95K. Let's go, Dodgers. Hey, man, thank you very much, Dodgers. HV23 is publicly subscribed. You got it, man. Congratulations, Aaron Savali. I really appreciate the support. Dodgers are they're in a uh, they're in a dog fight right now for that National League West. Who would have known that uh, I I knew the Padres were going to give them competition. In fact, I picked the Padres to go to the World Series for Pete's sakes. But um, how about a Jazz Chisholm? This is a nice one right there. Rookie card of Jazz from Finest. Let's go ahead and find a home for this guy. It's Sal Vasquez with an S. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Sal Vasquez with an S in it. Not publicly subscribed. Let's find another home for the jazz andrew smith andrew smith are you publicly subscribed i hope you are that's a kind of a common name we might get a couple so there he is talking about the uh psa 10 jose ramirez chrome cards you've got the jazz chisholm rookie card thank you very much andrew smith really appreciate that toss your name on the card for you all right, next up, we're not even close to uh, getting through all these. We've got so many cards to give away. How about a first chrome of Tristan McKenzie, who's one of the nice rookies. PJ Plot gets this one. Let's check you out, PJ. PJ Plot. You're not publicly subscribed. Let's pull another. How about uh, Michael Friedman? We'll pull a, go after a Willie Mays rookie card. Michael Friedman. Uh, I hope you're subscribed, Michael. Get this McKenzie you are. Thank you very much. There we go. Michael Friedman, you got it. How many total winners will there, there be? I don't know. It's definitely over 100. Somewhere between 1 and 200. Sam Ferguson says, let's go White Sox. Thank you very much for the super chat. I'll tell you what, I'm right there with you. I picked the White Sox to win the World Series before the season started, so I, I definitely am rooting for them. And Thomas Barrett says, last night you mentioned needing a new graphic for your cover card. Doesn't it need to be a? Doesn't it need to be a fishing pole? Keep up the great work, Thomas Barrett. Thank you very much, Sam and Thomas. I really appreciate that. Uh, hey, Timmy, tea times in the house. Says, hey, hope you and Heather are well. We are well. We had a great day. I've got a box of stuff for you, man. I think what we'll do is I'll just uh, meet you at the post office or at the golf course, and um, the box is all golf balls because I know you need those. I've got Dustin a rookie card, and I've got your select cards team bagged up and uh, in a bubble mailer. 
all ready to go. I just got to, you know, find time. Like today we were running around to card stores. This weekend we're real busy with the kiddos. How about Real Detective 51? So I think the best time is probably just scheduled time when uh, I'm dropping off a carload of packages at the post office or something like that. Um, did, I, did I spell detective wrong? Let's try this again. Real Detective. Real Detective 51. A message that says, what's worth ex extreme heat or extreme cold? 103. Man. It all depends. If you're if you can get out of the elements, I'd probably rather go with extreme heat. But if you're exposed to it, and like if you're outside, then um, real detective, you're getting this card. By the way, thank you very much. If you have to be outside, I'd probably rather be 103 than be out in the cold. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. The pen zone says, "Congrats on 95k. I'm already working on the 100k box. You'll be in there in no time." The pen zone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Mess of Things, and thank you very much. To Chaos Gaming, says I emailed you with my YouTube name and the card name. Also, I need your address as well. I really appreciate that, Chaos Gaming to uh, 2K. Don't forget the address. For some reason, people always forget the address. Like I can't get the card, see if you don't give me your address. There's a Mike Trout. That's a base card right there. But uh, anytime I pull a Trout card, I always put them aside. It's going to Eduardo Fernandez. Eduardo, hey Shoyo Tani, I picked up his rookie card at one of the card stores today. Eduardo, why can't I remember? Like, I'm trying to read the comment. Was it Fernandez or Rodriguez? Got it, Fernandez. Uh, you are publicly subscribed. Congrats. You got the Mike Trout base card right there. Eduardo, by the way, the uh, Penn Zone, aka Dave Penn, has also donated a bunch of these cards. You have the 95K giveaway. Some of these cards that we we're pulling a little bit later. I don't know if we got to them yet. We'll be giving away. And Tim Shiner says, what kind of hobby box do you send with a 300 subscription? Well, it's whatever's coming out. So here's what we had recently. Um, this month, it is the brand new Stadium Club box. Um, you know, the hobby box. These guys right here. These are 100. I saw them at $150 at the card stores today. You can get them on uh, Still City for 130 something like that. Um, that's this month's featured box in the past. It's basically whatever the most recent box is. How about a Trey Mancini? Thank you very much, man. Uh, the the 300 subscription um, level is probably best for anybody that's uh, heavily into the breaks. Like the people that are on that, they're you know buying into breaks on a regular basis because you also get a discount on all of our breaks. So, hey, Heather's here. There she is. Hey, Heather, how's it going? We had a very nice um, lunch today at a place called Italian Oven. Home Run Derby participant right here. And Heather and I were talking about the Home Run Derby, and she was wanting me to go over all of the participants. And I named them all off, but Trey Mancini skipped my mind. I was like, uh, I'm missing somebody. That's seven. And then I had to look it up, and it was Trey Mancini. This is his autograph. Trey Mancini Auto, and it's a blue parallel. This was one of the ones from uh, Francisco, I do believe. And it's Samuel Betts. Nice one right there. Getting a, a nice... Possible comeback player of the year. Okay, of course, Mancini coming back from cancer. And you got it, man. You got the Trey Mancini on-card auto. I'll put your name on it. Give you 24 hours to claim it if you can follow my simple directions from that email, which is give me the card name, give me your address, give me your YouTube name. How about a Trent Grisham rookie card? So, yeah, we go from a Trey Mancini autograph to Trent Grisham. So the cards vary in, in prices and stuff like that. That's just the way it goes. Try to pick out a lot of rookie cards. Michael LaForgia is going to get this one. Michael LaForgia. Let's, the last name should probably do it. There he is. He's publicly subscribed. Congrats, man. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a very nice Friday. We had a great Friday today. I, I, had, I really enjoyed our day with Heather and the boys and um, my kiddos as well. Garen Rubino says, hey, Eric, have you finished the $51 June box? Garen, I really appreciate that. I'll tell you what, um, I know that yours are on my shelf. Um, I've actually got two of yours, I think, because you upgraded from 14 to 51, so I had to get, I have to give you that one and with this one, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I got two for you, and I also have a break for you. So I will get that out to you. I want to say I'm going to work on them tonight after this video if this doesn't go really long. I told Heather I wanted to work on some of those, um, get those all done very soon. So I'll, I'll work on those and I'll bump you to the top of the list there. Thank you very much for the super chat. Here's a Zach Godley. This is a, a Topps Tech out of 75, it looks like. Zach Godley autograph and it goes to Nate the Great. Nate the Great. Um, I love the spelling of your name there. Makes it easy for me to remember. That's going to stand out. You got it. Congratulations. You've been subscribed for a while, I'm hoping. 
even if not, it doesn't really matter. I'm glad that you're subscribed. 10 months. So, Nate, you got it. Rocks, thank you very much. I really appreciate all you guys hanging out tonight on this giveaway day. And um, next one up would be 95K. I, I, I haven't decided yet if I want to do, like, one big card. Adam Brown! Hey, man! Adam Brown has, like, a $1,000 or $2,000 card coming his way. Hey, there's Cleveland Card Connection. What's up, man? Adam Brown pulled the uh, awesome... Here's a Ken Griffey Jr. Capture the Flag insert card. Eric says, I upgraded from the $3 tier to the 100 tier. Can't see, can't wait to see what's in that tier besides the Stadium Club Blaster. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you, uh, you know, upgraded. I really appreciate the support. Uh, $100 tier gets the old, one of the old wax boxes along with the blaster. It's five packs. It's a baseball. It's a, it's a hanger box. I won't tell you what hanger box it is, but I mean, you can probably narrow it down to what's out there right now. Bot Breaker, let's see what you've got. Uh, let's see. Sometimes it's a fat pack if I don't have hanger boxes, but um, let's see. How about we go about it this a different way? Albert Pujols, Pujols Chrome Rookie Card. Um, Pujols Chrome Rookie Card. That's another way we can maybe find your comment just to see since for some reason... There you are. You're. I don't know why it doesn't like your name there, but you want it. Congratulations. It's a Ken Griffey Jr. insert card there from the 90s capture the flag let's see what else we got for you this is a nice one right here it's a silver pack uh four cards in here this is from a hobby box of 2019 you get the whole unopened silver pack which uh, those silver packs usually go for at least 10 bucks aaron schaefer says i enjoy the channel almost daily fellow pa viewers and matt adams fan thanks for the videos aaron schaefer i really appreciate the daily check-ins or almost daily check-ins uh, harrison fulmar is going to get this one I really appreciate the uh, super chat. It's very, very kind of you. And Nikki Westside says, I love the channel. Keep up the good work. When will you do another Diamond Icons break? Diamond Icons, I think, went for sale for $2,000 a box. Harrison's not subscribed, by the way. we got to pull another. Sold out um, super quick. Wasn't able to get any boxes, so i got to go you know, do my thing and go to Steel City Collectibles and all that stuff and see if I can track a case down, which is going to be like 6000 Who even knows? If it's 2000 on tops... Um, it's probably gonna be way more than that. I think there's four boxes in a case or something like that. I can't remember from last year, so it's probably gonna be like, who knows? I don't even want to know. Diamond Icons cases. Can anyone look that up on Steel City? Let me know what the what those go for. How about Big Block HP one two three? Let's see if you get the silver pack. Big Block HP one two three. He is gonna get it. Thanks, man. I'll get that sent off to you. I'm gonna have to write on your. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna write on your silver silver pack. Big block, uh, HP123, just down there at the bottom in small letters. All right, so next up we have a uh, Max Kepler. This is a triple relic right there. Nice one. Uh, that Do I have a distributor's license? No, I was talking about this with uh, one of the card store guys today. I wish that I had a distributorship license, but you have to have a storefront. And even when you have a storefront, you got to take all their other stuff too that they want to sell you, like the WWE stuff and the soccer. How about D Moose 8? So, um, you know, anybody out there that wanted to, to break stuff, um, you'd pay the same as I do. I don't have any, like, uh, hookups like that. Distributors get stuff for a lot cheaper, obviously. But um, I don't have that. I wish I did. I almost think that it might be worth opening up a storefront just for that purpose. Just to... Uh... Man, it auto-corrected me, but it still showed it. Demos, you're getting the triple relic of Max Kepler. Congratulations on that there's all of your information congrats d moose oh eight got you who do we got next this is a great one this is from dave penn i remember this one is a really good condition 51 bowman card chatham says what's the three dollar tier get you the three dollar tier gets you access to all of our breaks and our patreon page it'll unlocks like all the postings and stuff there which is mostly break stuff and to tell you what's coming up marcus let's see what you've got for you there's also some patreon only videos there like this past week we did two videos i did a find that i found uh, in my uh, storage room there marcus congrats you're getting this danny murtaugh 51 bowman it's a great card right there but uh, yeah, there's that one i found old patreon packages from 2019 and uh man there was some really really good packs in there nowadays these packs would go for big time money here's uh defending champion gold pete alonso let's see who's gonna get the gold alonso parallel card it's going to tommy uh, or tomio 
Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Tommy, I think I accidentally put a zero there. Whoops. I wanted to hit the O button, but sometimes I screw up. There we go. You are publicly subscribed. I appreciate that, man. You've got the gold, Pete Alonso. Thanks, Jays. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. All right, next up, by the way, who does everybody have in the home run derby? Like I said before, I'm taking um, I'm taking uh, Joey Gallo. There's Tom Glavin, game use bat, Hall of Famer, game use bat. Adam, I have not posted the showdown yet. Just such a busy day today that I haven't had a chance to uh, get that. I'll do that after this a live stream. WD, WFAM. Uh, man, how am I going to remember that? WD, WFAM5. WD, WFAM5. Did I get it? This is a memory test for me at WD, WFAM5. I, okay. I would go after PSA 10 rookies. I'm just going to do that. That's easier for me to remember. I would go after PSA 10 rookies. Let's see if we can find you, man, that way. Uh, yeah, there you are. You're not subscribed, though, unfortunately. So we got to pull another one. Uh, a lot of people taking Otani. There's Dennis V. I'll tell you what. I think... Um, did you know... Who has the worst odds? I think that Soto's got the second worst odds. Dennis V gets this one. Let's go ahead and give you the, the game use bat of Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. Dennis V gets this one. So, Dennis, you got the directions right there. Any graded cards? There's not a lot of graded cards. There's one in here. Since you mentioned it, why don't we do it? It's the um, Kanan Smith yellow auto out of 75. Beckett, uh, BGS 9 slash 10. Brian says, uh, seek in rookie of the year, Gavin, or sneak in rookie of the year, Gavin Sheets, Larry Sheets, son. Okay. You never know. That's rookie of the year. Those rookie of the year races are still wide open. Diamond Icons is $2,995 on Steel City. For, there's one left. Okay, so I'm going to have trouble finding these. And that's for just one box. That's not a case. So there are 2,000 on tops. You know, top sells everything for like 40% off or so. And uh, I could have saved $1,000 if I could have got it from Tops, and now I have to go and find one of the big guys that hopefully will even have some. So Steel City has one left. Big Tones, thanks for looking at that for me. Brian, thank you very much for the Super Chat. We'll keep uh, an eye on that, that sneaky Rookie of the Year pick. Um, I don't know, Rookie of the Year right now. NL's probably, uh, what do you think, Trevor Rogers. How about Snurd Turgeson? Snurd, that's a name from the past. He's been around a while. And uh, Snurd, he's publicly subscribed, and he's been for a year. So congratulations, man. Thanks for all the comments you leave on the channel. Put your name on the card right here, Snurd. I'm going to need a team bag for this bad boy, though. I don't know if I have one. I don't want to write on the actual card itself. All right, here's what I'll have to do. I'm going to have to put your name on a spacer and just uh, put a small piece of tape on it, tape it to the card. I see another super chat just popped up. It's coming from Sam Sterling. It says Juan Soto will pull off the upset and win the Derby. And Dale Peterson says, "Hey, Jabs, just got here. Hope all is going well. Thanks very much, guys." And Chatham says, "What would you pick for your collection? A Carter Kibu out of twenty-three, or a two thousand eighteen non-auto Miguel Cabrera out of ten? It all depends on if you believe in Carter Kibu or not." Um, phew, out of twenty-three, that's a tough call. If you were just giving it to me, I'd probably take the key boom and hope that he can, you know, get his career going. Um, but then you have a surefire Hall of Famer as well. So that's a great question. Thank you very much for the super chats, guys. You guys are awesome. Hope everybody's having a very nice Friday as we get this weekend started off with this 95K celebration. We've got a Junior Fernandez right there. Junior Fernandez. Snurd, by the way, thank you very much. This is an Allen and Ginter framed auto. It's to Dan Hop. Let's check out Dan's channel and see if he's publicly subscribed. Dan Hop with a double P right there. And uh, he says, love you, Jabs. On to 100. Left a couple comments on that 95K giveaway. Uh, let's double check that again. So, yeah, you got it, man. I hope you love me just a little bit more now. I appreciate the support. It's your card, Junior Fernandez from the Cardinals. Dan Hop coming your way. Let's do one of these Mojo Chromes. It's the first nice one of Alexander Ramirez out of a Bowman Mojo pack. Let's see what we've got. It is going to Zach Neely. Zach Neely is going to be uh, the guy right here. I wanted to pick up a Bowman Chrome box today at one of the card stores, but they were selling them for 70 bucks. And, uh, you know, 
I spelled Zach's name wrong, so I didn't buy that one. I asked the best price they could do. They said 65. It's because they said people, I guess people go around to Walmarts and they take these blasters. So if you see blasters at card stores and stuff, they say people bring them in and then they resell them to them. And so they're paying an upcharge. So if somebody buys a blast for 20 and the card store pays 30, then the card store is going to sell for 40. So I guess that's what happens. People bringing these stuff, all these cards all the time and uh, flippers just being lazy, not wanting to go about the uh, the eBay stuff and listing it and paying all the fees will just maybe take it to a card store. How about Lee Morgan? Lee Morgan been around for a year. Congrats, you got the Alexander Ramirez Chrome card. Really appreciate your support. Got you in there right now, Lee Morgan. Get your name on the card. How about a Logan Allen? Logan Allen Auto on card auto. It's his uh, Bowman's Best. Bowman's Best of Logan Allen. It's for D. Fuller 81. D. Fuller 81. Let's see what we've got for you. And um, D. Fuller is... Man, lots of guys doing a great job being publicly subscribed tonight. I, I was thinking that we'd have a lot less because that's just in the past. Seems like 50% of the people just have not figured out the publicly subscribed stuff. How about an Evan Longoria game used bat? I think that's from like 2010 tops or something like that from a while ago, back when he was in his prime with the Rays. Nick Church, 55 Koufax would be a nice one for sure. Nick Church is publicly subscribed as well. So you got the Evan Longoria game used bat relic. Congratulations on that one. Nick Church. I'll tell you what, we still have a bunch of cards left. I have um, all of this, and then there's a whole overflow as well. So there's a crap ton of cards left to go. Um, CB says, what's up, Jabs? Congratulations on the 95K. Hoping you and the family are good. Thank you very much, man. Had a great day today. Like I said, um, there's a Craig Wilson game use bat. My daughter's celebrating a birthday this weekend. It's going to be a nice weekend. Craig Wilson game use bat relic. Autograph going to D. Woodruff, 76. D. Woodruff, 76. Also, we played baseball today. Uh, I was pitching that. And I got this bad back, by the way, and it's been uh, hampering me a bit. But I was able to get out there and throw some BP today. I feel like that's what I excel at is throwing batting practice. I feel like I'm very accurate. I can just groove them right down the middle most of the time. Like, you know, not 100% strikes, but... Um, Right. Pretty much they're all, you know, hittable at least. And uh, the game was if the older son, Heather's older son, Robbie, hit one off the scoreboard, I would give him and his brother a free blaster box. So, you know, that's that's what we we're playing for because they, they are into baseball cards now. Logan Webb Auto. Let's see if we can get a winner for this one. And, uh, you know, his last hit, he hit right at the scoreboard. But it was, uh, it was a 200-foot field to left, so it was probably about 210 to left center, something like that. Came a little bit short. It's probably 180, but, uh, you know, it's a challenge. It was a fun challenge. Kevin uh, Kakura says, congrats on 95K. Kevin, thank you very much. And the pen zone says, I offered you a 10 unit. You just got to reply to the pen zone. I really appreciate that as well. I wanted to check it out with my chiropractor and make sure it was okay. I forgot to ask him. And a mess of things says, "What? which day should I kazoo birthday songs? A mess of things. That would be on Sunday. For us, my, uh, my youngest is going to be four years old. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much for the super chats. But, yeah, I'm going to a chiropractor now once a week to try to get my back back in shape. And, um, man, he's uh, he adjusted me for the first time. That's always scary. Um, I've had it done before years ago, but um, he said my disc is well enough. that I have a herniated disc in my back. And after all the measurements stuff, he said the way that it uh, – the way that it blew out, it blew out straight back so that I can, like, uh, I don't have the pain down my legs, but, I like, I can't kick straight out at all. Like, man, that was so painful when you had me do that. Uh, Maverick X1221, I um, I think it auto-corrected your name. I hate it when it does that. Let's try it again. Maverick X1221. I, I herniated my disc on, like, June 16th, so it's been three weeks still trying to get better, and uh, I'm getting there. I'd say that um, I might be, like, 80%. Still hurts from time to time, but getting back and hopefully within the next week or two can be 100%. I would love that. Maverick, thank you very much. You are in the books. How about a Jake Lamb Green? Slap some Icy Hot in your back. Hey, you know what? Icy Hot really did the trick when I was having a ton of pain a while ago. Um, man, that 
the Heather rubbed some on my back, and then, man, it felt so good. Phil Mizako is getting this one. Let's check you out. All right, Dave, that's awesome, man. I will, um, I might definitely have to take you up on it. You got a Phil Mazzocco winner right here for Jake Lamb Autumn coming your way. Phil Mazzocco gets this one. Let's do another one. It's a another auto. It's a Michael Baez. It's a blue. By the way, for those of you who like Gypsy Queen, that's coming out. I just ordered um, a bunch of cases of this, so. We'll be doing Gypsy Queen when that comes out um, Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday, I think. Let's see who's going to get this one. James Unger. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. Unger. And uh, yeah, got it, man. Congratulations. I really appreciate your support. You got Michael Bias coming your way. James Unger. Man, I almost had a heart attack there for a second. I thought I just wrote on the one touch, but there's a... Uh, this is sleeve over that. Uh, all right, next up, Alec Bohm base rookie card. Alec Bohm, not have man, he's been a letdown, but you know, you never know. Sometimes he's got. Look at Shohei Otani. A lot of people calling him bust, including myself, have uh, had to eat our words. As a now Shohei Otani, the front runner for the most valuable player award. So Douglas, you got this one. Congratulations, really appreciate that. Bohm. There's the boom. There's all the names. Let's turn to you. Says Tops is supposed to have four releases next week. No chance that happens. Look for pushbacks. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's an awful lot for sure. And uh, MCB says have stuff ready to send Bucko stuff for someone. Mystery packs to check out. Donations for the next giveaway. Can you or Heather let me know what the boys collect? As I want to send them stuff as well. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Um, the seven-year-old Timmy is super into um, Fernando Tatis Jr. We're looking for Fernando Tatis Jr. Like, uh, we're looking at autographs all the time for him, and he's <laughs> he's helping me place bids. Uh, we went after a PSA 7 rookie for him. It was a Tatis, and his budget was $35, so I bid $35 on it. And uh, wouldn't you know we lost by a buck? There's Joe Adele right there. Let's go ahead and see what we've got for that one right now. Joe Adele. Now, the older one, Robbie, he's he changes his favorite player quite often. Uh, Mickey Mantle has been his favorite player, but Ken Griffey Jr., um, those were two of his favorites. Lee Bowers, it's been Aaron Judge. Those were some of his faves, but he really likes Griffey. Uh, has a gr he actually was Ken Griffey Jr. for Halloween, so with the earring and everything. Got the Joe Adele. This is a die-cut rookie card, so congratulations on that one. Lee Bowers, thank you for the support. What's the most expensive card in the giveaway? We, man, I, I didn't really look up all the prices of these, but there's a lot of Hall of Famers, autographs, stuff like that. How about an Aloy Jimenez out of 192? We also have a blaster of 2019 Top Series 2. Uh, Aloy Jimenez out of 192. By the way, he's in the minor leagues on a, a rehab assignment. We'll be seeing him before too long, which is awesome. How about just Hill? H I L L. Let's see. Yep, you got it, man. Hill Aloy Jimenez on card auto. So, congratulations on that one. That is a nice one right there, Hill. Next up, we've got Bruce Star Gratterall. Lots of autographs. Bruce Star Gratterall. This is a rookie auto. 814 says, uh, That's awesome. Hey, 814 Sports and Wheels. You're, are you the owner of um, the store that we were at today? There's only one person besides Heather and the boys that know that he had an 89 Don Ross pack. So that's got to be the card store owner that uh, one of the card stores that I visited today. Chasey Bats 31. Let's check you out. Chasey Bats 31. Um, yep, you got it. You got the Bruce Star Gratterall. That's awesome, man. Your card store is great. And uh, he's at Rare Collectibles, by the way. If anybody's in the like western Pennsylvania area, it's going to take me a little while to get the video done. Um, we're actually planning a break. Um, if you check out right there, 814 Sports and Wheels, he's got all kinds of baseball cards, sports cards. Um, Heather purchased uh, some some uh, Hot Wheels cards for my daughter for one of her birthday presents today. We've got Edward Olivares coming up next, but his card store was great. And um, we got a video he gave the kids at 89 Donruss uh, a pack each. Go after the Griffey. They didn't find the Griffey, 
but they definitely had fun looking through those packs as well. They're stoked about that. And uh, also, by the way, they're even more stoked. Um, he gave us a blaster box of Absolute for free, which, as you know, it's like a $30 box on eBay or whatever, a resale. And uh, the kids are super stoked about that. We haven't opened it up yet, but we're going to have a break on it. And um, they're super excited. They're like, uh, can we buy a spot in your break of that box? And I was like, yeah, $0. So they're super pumped, and their spots are going to be um, one gets the National League, one gets the American League, and they're going to get all the cards. So one of them is going to get the Relic, and they, they just think Relics and, and Autos are so awesome. So we'll probably we'll do that, and we'll put that in at the end of the video. Luis Robert, this is a Snowflake Parallel rookie card. This is a great one right here. Love this one. It's going to one of you guys, though, and it's going to go to Brian. Uh, man, there's going to be a lot of Brian's coming up. That's a common name, but we'll see if we can find them. So Brian is going after Jordan Alvarez, first auto, PSA 10, just Brian. Um, man, it's going to take a while. So it might be easier just to type in um, what you're going after. Oh, wait, I just saw your avatar down here as I scrolled back up. It just, oh, there he is. He's not subscribed, so that stinks. But we got to pull another one for the Luis Robert. It's Philip Costell or Coastal. Let's see if you are publicly subscribed. I hope you are, man. Let's check him out right now. Costell? Costal? I hope I said that right. You are? Congratulations. You got a nice Luis Robert Snowflake Parallel coming your way. Philip Costal. Next up, we've got so many cards to choose from. Lots of autos as well. Well, how about Zach Deloak? This is a nice on-card auto from Bowman's Best. Let's see who we can give this away to. And it's going to Roy Nelson. Going after those PSA 10s of Tatis. I'll tell you what, I couldn't believe that his cards were going down despite the series or the season that he was having. So I've, uh, I don't know how many PSA 10 cards I picked up. It might be two, but um, maybe three, but I've been buying his cards. I've actually lost a couple too. Like I've been trying to get his cards and I've lost in some auctions. But that card used to be over $300 a piece. And there's an Alex Kirloff rookie card. We'll do this one next. Number two rookie in um, series two. I might have to adjust that and move Cronenworth up there. Juana Cuevas is getting the next one. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. Cuevas is, um, uh, let's find the account that matches. Tatis, please, you are not publicly subscribed. There's the account right there. we got to pull another one. Thank you for commenting, though. And uh, how about Lorian Prouty? Hey, I think that might be Jim's wife. we got a Jim Prouty who's been in our breaks. That's awesome that you're getting the family involved. I really appreciate that for everyone that, you know, gets the mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, aunt involved. Hey, that's just, uh, you know. More people that maybe hopefully enjoy cards and, uh, you know, also increase your chance there by just a little bit. Matthew Jones, thank you very much. Says, did I win yet? If you didn't get an email from me yet, you didn't win. Or an email from YouTube with the comment. How about a Lumber Leaders? This is a quad relic of three Hall of Famers and another guy that should be a Hall of Famer. That is a nice one. Tim Shiner says, watch out for eBay. Uh, there's some fake slabs floating around on eBay. Tim, I just saw a tweet from Golden Auctions about a PSA 10 Jordan rookie card, 86 Fleer, that they are taking down because it, it looks like it was re-slabbed by a re-slabber. So now you have to look out for re-slabbers. Are they really getting that good that they can uh, do that? Donald Blomdahl's in the house. Hey, man. So with the cool super sticker, I really appreciate the, the support there. Donald Blomdahl, by the way, is live every, uh, pretty much every weekday around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Jason is publicly subscribed. Thank you very much. Hope you'll check out Donald Blomdahl. You got yourself the awesome quad re quad relic there of all those guys. The only thing I, the only complaint I have about that card is George Brett's likeness is missing. For some reason, George Brett was like, uh, I'm not, I only I only give my likeness to Tops. Maybe he's just, maybe he's like that. Maybe he has an exclusive contract with Tops or Panini, and he's not allowed to uh, have his likeness with any other company. That could very well be the case. This is a really low number out of 25 camo. Camos are really tough to find. Stephen Vogt. Let's see who gets this one. Sometimes those camos camo commons might go for 20, 10, 20 bucks. Who knows? Wilbur uh, K gets this one. John Blackwell says, "Great video, go Cubs. You do an awesome jobs." RT. Uh, RLTW. I don't know. Why don't I know what that stands for? But thank you. It might be a Cubs thing. 
I have no idea, or you'll tell me that I just have no idea. But um, thank you very much, John, for the support. I really appreciate that. Let's check out Wilbur, see if he's publicly subscribed. Wilbur, wait for it, is not publicly, publicly, <laughs> can't talk, publicly subscribed. Peter B is up next. Let's see what we find for you, Peter B. FTC Family Cards with a thank you super sticker for 10 bucks. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Peter is not publicly subscribed. I hope you guys will check out FTC Family Cards. Give him some support. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. Brody Good. Brody says that he would uh, commit a crime for some of these cards. He really wants one. And uh, Brody Good, let's find you. Um, Brody Good, uh, apparently YouTube doesn't like your use of uh, language there. So they, I guess, uh, censored you and you're not going to show up in my comments. So you got to be careful about that. I'll, I'll see if you left any other comments. I'm looking hard for you, man. But if if you're censored and I can't prove it, then um, I can't give it to you. Um, I don't even want to click onto like uh, the held for view because there's a lot of like F words and stuff in there. Like all the bad language ones go there. So we've got kids watching right now. So uh, Brody Good, I'll try one more time. And then I'm just going to pull another one. Just can't. Uh, I know you didn't mean to, but... Um, you didn't really follow the directions anyway by telling us what card you would go for. Uh, we'll go for a Spencer Torkelson first. Let's go for New Cards on the Block. That's a name from the past. New Kids on the Block. New Cards on the Block. Remember those New Kids on the Block cards? As a kid, I hated those. I think we all hated them. All the boys hated them, but the girls... I, that was, a, I guess, a way to get girls into collecting. A new Cards on the Block's not publicly subscribed. Uh, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions says, just won a Tatis rookie on Donald Blomdahl's eBay store. Thanks, Don. That's awesome. Big Ray's Ball Cards. Malcolm, let's see if you are publicly subscribed. Thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. There's somebody that vouched for Donald Blomdahl if you'd like to check him out. Malcolm Baptiste is not publicly subscribed. Let's do another one. And uh, how about we go for Justin in the Lou? Justin in the Lou is... We're hitting our first, uh, our second snag of the day. It's like 0 for 3 now. Let's pull another one. Eddie E.B. We had Tyler Glass now took, I think, five tries, but we had a whole bunch where we got him. Let's, that, that's another one. Eddie E.B. is not subscribed either. Or at least 0 for 4 on this card now. Stuart Stark says, hey, Jabs, how does this work? Have a great night. Stuart Stark, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, basically, if you're subscribed to my channel, if you commented on the 95K giveaway, which is this video you see right here, which is linked in the description, you are eligible to win this. Dream Dream is, uh, man, that's going to be a hard one to find because it's just anybody. There he is. Dream Dream with the word late is um, not publicly subscribed. There he is. Dream Dream. There he is again down there. Dream Dream. And Byron with a hot dog emoji. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support tonight, guys. A hot dog, man, who doesn't like, uh, my kids love hot dogs for sure. Well, we had corn, I made them corn dogs tonight for dinner. That's one of their favorites. How about Daniel Salea? Growing up, for some reason, I hated corn dogs. I don't know if it's because it just sounded gross to me. I never had a corn dog until, I don't know, I think Heather's the one that like said, you know, you should try these corn dogs. They're actually not, not bad. They're easy to, you know, make in the, the oven. Michael Jansta should be subscribed. I think he's finally going to put an end to this. You're our stopper, Michael Jansta. He's won the Saturday showdown. There he goes. Thank you very much, Michael. You're going to take the Stephen Vogt. Man, people must not like Stephen Vogt. So that took a while. Michael Jansta with the camo Stephen Vogt. Hey, you never know. It might be a $10 card because it's such a low number out of 25 Somebody trying to complete the camo set. That would be worth 25 bucks to them. How about a Walker Bueller rookie card coming up next? Walker Bueller. Richard said, what's the difference between $3 and $9? Uh, $9 get unlimited Patreon videos. $3 ones will get some Patreon videos, but near the end of the month, um, I'll just make those private so only the $9 ones and up can see them. Uh, unlimited videos. Um, here we go. Walker Bueller. Let's see what we can find for you. And it is Lost COC. Let's see what we've got here. And uh, not publicly subscribed, unfortunately, for you. How about Cool Man 311 Thanks, man. That's another name that I recognize from long ago. And he, he is subscribed. He's been so for two years. Long-time subscriber right there. Leave in the comments. Appreciate that, man. Cool Man Walker Bueller rookie card is yours if you want it. All you have to do is follow those steps. Cool Man 311 
Uh, JT says, I have a Griffey rookie, but when I sent it to PSA, they sent it back and said the size is wrong. So you think that maybe they're accusing, the, or not accusing you, but saying the card has been slightly trimmed. Cade Cavalli. Yeah, PSA is going to be super careful about that after the whole, you know, two year ago controversy they have with cards that were being trimmed that they were slipping by and PSA was grading trimmed cards and um, not catching it. Chatham says, did you know that Kyle Lewis and Bobby Dalbeck played for the Massachusetts Cape Cod Orleans Firebirds? That's where I live. I did not know that at all. That is news to me. That's cool stuff. So did you get to see that? Is that like single way? Got to see them early on in their career. How about that one? Let's check out Davis, check out Davis Floyd and see if he is publicly subscribed. Davis Floyd. Oh, that's what I wanted to buy at Walmart today. I wanted to buy envelopes for all these because I'm a little bit low on those. Davis is not publicly subscribed. I still have to get them tomorrow. We're at Walmart today picking up our, all, of, all of our food and snacks for the uh, weekend. DeKind Sports Collectible says, congrats on 95K. Let's go Mets. Thanks, man. Need 100 subs. So I hope you guys will check out DeKind. Ryan McNamara now is going to get checked out and see if we can find him. Mac. Namera and European Ship Sailors with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much for that. Really appreciate the support tonight, guys. Hope everybody's going to have a nice weekend or is already having a nice weekend. I mean, the weekend is still very young. Hopefully, you have some nice plans. How big will 100K be? I haven't decided if it's going to be like a whole bunch of cards, a 24 hour live stream, or um, if it's going to be um, here's Mac Wainwright first out of 4.99. Um, I don't know. Maybe with just one giant card with thousands of dollars, we have no idea. T C L one F three T C T C L one F three Donald Blomdahl. Yeah, he got uh, he got deleted for. I guess we we don't know. We think it's because of all the uh, he ran those auctions twice weekly, and um, I guess that's against YouTube's guidelines. And uh, yeah, he got uh, he got perma banned, which he's gonna try to get it back, but we'll see. Um, Jonathan A says, "Hey Jabs, love the stream tonight. If you had to eat something for the rest of your life, what would it be?" Jonathan A, that's a thought provoking question right there. Mac Wainwright going to L or TC? If I could only eat one thing, I'll tell you what I've been eating like nonstop. It's been buffalo chicken salad. So I'm back to that. I kind of like rotate between different things. We went to. Uh, we went where we go to the the uh, Italian oven, and uh, I got the buffalo chicken. I mean, it's got your, your veggies. Um, my chiropractor, by the way, here's a 2015 Javi Bias. He's super into like nutrition. And he's like, the best thing you can do for your your ruptured disc there, your herniated disc, is you got to eat stuff that's loaded in like sulfur. I think he said, and he really is pushing onions on me and garlic. Which I, I don't think I can really eat garlic. That just seems gross. But I've been like trying to eat a lot of onions in my salads and uh just been trying to eat a lot of green stuff so i've had a salad pretty much for every meal the past two weeks probably lost some weight because of it uh sand of the specimen says hey jabs congrats on 95k road to 100 thanks man really appreciate the two dollar super chat uh javi baez going to stan mitchell stan the man mitchell Stan Mitchell. I like this Hobby Bias card. I've liked this since 2015. Stan, you're not publicly subscribed to this, so i got to find a new home for it. How about Peter McKinnon? Peter Mac? Let's check you out. Garlic is gross. We're not friends. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, like, just... I just... I just uh, envision, like, am I supposed to just eat, like, a... Just eat... A, just eat garlic raw? I, I don't know. XTZ. Let's see if you are publicly subscribed. I, I guess I just don't know how to go about getting garlic into me. I do like garlic bread and stuff like that, but um, let's give this to XTZ. Thank you very much. You've got the Javi Baez. Garlic's a great spice, but I was in, envisioning eating like a whole big thing of garlic. The Benz says, I love onions. I can eat one like an apple. I can't do that. I just... just uh, when I go to Subway, I get the protein bowls, which is essentially a salad. There's CJ Van Eck autograph. Let's see, you get CJ Van Eck auto. And it's going to be Def Thunder. Def Thunder, let's see if you are publicly subscribed. And um, he is. So, congratulations. You got a CJ Van Eck autograph coming your way. Def Thunder. By the way, I was so glad that the uh, thunderstorm last night didn't knock out the power during that trout break. That would have been awful. We've got a Spencer Torkelson right there. Tork 
Spencer Torkelson Bowman's Best. A very nice card there. Going to Baseball Card Illustrated. I like that name. Baseball Card Illustrated. I think I was a I was a subscriber to Sports Illustrated Kids for a while. Uh, never Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated kind of, I don't know why, I didn't really like it that much because I felt like it focused too much on other sports. And uh, I was always just all baseball. So I was baseball weekly every single Wednesday. Man, I would get home from school. First thing I would do is I would eat my Dan and yogurt with sprinkles. Then I'd hop on my bike and I'd ride down to Johnny's Market. Like, I don't know, like, Five minute drive down the road, pick up a baseball weekly for what were they back in the day? Were they 50 cents or 75 cents? They kept going up. But um, I just used to love reading those stats. Kyle Nicholas I would read all the articles, read the team by team breakdowns, all the moves and all the news and all that stuff. And then Jonathan H gets this one, possibly. Let's check out Jonathan H. And man, I used to spend so much time on the whole back section where you would just read through the stats on uh on every team and just look through, you see the last seven days stats and you see the, to the right of that, all this, all the, uh, the year to date stats loved that baseball weekly was, I'd probably still be subscribed to baseball weekly if they were any good. It's sports weekly. Now it's uh covers football as well, but you know, it does, it's not really the same anymore. I guess the internet kind of killed that off. How about we go with, um, Heston Kerstad first Bowman. I was always a stats guy. Like uh, first thing I'd in the morning, I'd wake up, get the paper, read all the box scores. Adam Connolly is up next. Let's see what Adam has. Adam Connolly. When did I start my channel? He's not publicly subscribed. It was 2016, I think. Andrew Smith says, "Did I win anything on the road with UPS?" Andrew, thank you very much. If you haven't received a uh, a message from me, you haven't won anything. So I, I do not think so. We got to pull another one for this. I think it was February 2016 was my first um, or my first sign up for YouTube. Scott May made my first video. Scott May, I remember my, I didn't even have my youngest daughter yet. She wasn't born yet. And my third youngest was like a, a baby. She's in some of the videos. It's just a little babbling baby. Scott May, you got the nice Heston curse dad. Congratulations on that one. Who do I think the Pirates are going to draft? I don't know. It might be... Uh, might be Jack Leiter, or maybe Kumar Rocker. Who knows? One of those Vandy boys. How about a Jake Cronenworth? I just hope they don't screw up the pick like they tend to do a lot. Ryan Flessner. I, I wasn't uh, displeased with the pick last year, though. I thought Nick Gonzalez was a nice pick. Uh, we got Ryan Flessner. Is that the name there? Yeah, Ryan, you got it. Congratulations, man. Jake Cronenworth, rookie card. Hey, Jake Cronenworth's an all-star, so that's going to help him out. I'm um I'm probably gonna redo my top picks for uh, top rookies for series two. Cronenworth's got to be above Kirilov now, I think. So Kirilov's dropped off a bit for me. How about a nice Mark Viento Sapphire, nice prospect right there. Bowman Sapphire card right there for Ricardo Beltran. Let's see if he is publicly subscribed. Like the last name there. I wonder if it's any relation to Carlos Beltran. I see Ricardo Beltran is not publicly subscribed, as you can clearly see on the screen. Got to go ahead and run it again. How about Albert? Hey, Albert Smith, didn't you just leave a super chat for two bucks? No way. Now let's just hope you're publicly subscribed. He said, I'm on the road with UPS. Did I win anything? Is that the right Albert Smith? And... Oh, it took you off, but I saw your name and I saw that you were subscribed there. Let's try that again. Albert Smith. Where are you? Maybe it's like there's too many Albert Smiths. Why did it do that? It came up for a split second and I saw... Was that Andrew Smith? Okay. So it's your possible brother, Albert Smith. There he is, Albert Smith. He is publicly subscribed. He's a Patreon member as well. Thank you very much, Albert. You got this. There's your instructions. You did win something, but that's Andrew Smith that was actually asking for it. Close. I thought we had you there, Andrew. This is a really nice one. It's an Eric Hosmer uh, bronze ink out of 25 autograph from Tier 1. Pulled that one out of, I believe it was a Mystery Box Monday. It's going to Peter Ferranto. So let's check out Peter Ferranto and see if he's publicly subscribed. Ferranto. Ferranto, Ferranto. Let's see. Yep, you got it. Congratulations. You guys are making my job a little easier tonight with all the publicly subscribed people. 
A lot of people were able to follow the directions, which I really appreciate. Just makes it easier, kind of a little more smoothly. Uh, Hannah says, do you reply to our comments? Well, yeah, that's exactly what happens is to contact you. I'll let you know here, and you're hopefully you're watching live, Jazz Chisholm. Coming up next, it's his 70 Years of Tops 2013 design rookie card. Oliver Allen gets it. Oliver Allen. Oliver Allen, let's see if you're subscribed. And uh, nice job, man. You are. You got it. Jazz Chisholm, 70 Years of Tops rookie card. RX says, am I a Pirates fan? I do like the Pirates. I root for them. I, I don't really get hurt when they win or lose. Um, I expect them to lose. I think I was thinking they were going to lose 110 games. Plus, Logan Allen, refractor first Bowman rookie card. Or first Bowman. Not rookie. Going up next, the nice refractor of Logan Allen for CM2 underscore Deadpool. That reminds me. I got to go and um, take care of my pool. I found a dead freaking rat in it today. So that's gross. We're not going to swim in that until I um, shock the pool now. CM underscore. Does that work? Yeah, there he is. He's not publicly subscribed. Got to go ahead and redo that one. How about Steve Altice? Steve Altice. Hope Steve's doing okay. He was supposed to have three spots in our 2011 break, but uh, the spots went unpaid. So, Steve, you got yourself a um, Logan Allen right there. So, thank you very much. Nice refractor first. Got you. Next up, we've got Stan the Man Musual. This is a chrome. Nice chrome of Stan the Man, 1948. National League Most Valuable Player. As a pool owner, that's the best thing you can do, says Andrew. Yeah, really gross. Uh, Keith Swanson's getting this one. Yeah, I don't... Uh, not going to be swimming there for the next 24 hours or whatever after I shock it. So you got this one. That's one of the bad things about... You know what? It's been a, a good year for animals. Like, it's, There's some years that I've had like dozens of animals that I pull out of there that just like drop into the pool and then of course they end up drowning they get sucked into the skimmer and then you got you're got a mess on your hands it always sucks one of the bad things about having a pool Colin Moran coming up next but there's been a lot less this year and we've got a cat that's like been going around like a stray cat and it is killing a lot of the like vermin around which is uh, I guess nice uh, Alina Med Madalena is getting this one so I've had a lot less rodents in the pool this year. Madalena is uh, Alina. There you are. You're not publicly subscribed. I wish you were, but we got to pull another one. It's a Colin Moran autograph, by the way, up for grabs. Chris Lockhart. Chris Lockhart, let's see if you are publicly subscribed. And you are. So congratulations. There's your information. Chris Lockhart, you got it. And it says, do you think you picked my name or remembered it? Um, I probably would remember your name, but uh, I don't think we did. Uh, you also would have a, uh, a comment. Matthew says, did you see that super chat? Now, uh, the chat's going pretty quick. Tonight. I'm trying to see all of them. Uh, Andrew says, it's okay if I don't win. I'm still a huge fan. I see it now, Andrew. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. We were close on that for you, man. But uh, wrong A. Smith. We've got an Abraham Toro. This is a nice one. It's a Sapphire autograph right there. Abraham Toro. Any, anything Sapphire is usually pretty nice. Josh Schroer is going to get this one. Let's check you out, Josh, and see if you're publicly subscribed. Josh Schroer is... You got it. You got the Sapphire Auto, which is a nice one. Congratulations, Josh. All right, who's up next? Let's do a Kirilov. This is his future star from Contenders. Alex Kirloff, future star card, going to go to 85 Jeff M. 85 Jeff M. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. 85 Jeff M. And um, he is, it looks like. So thanks, man. I really appreciate that. And there's your directions. 85 Jeff M. ITZ, you have to comment on the 95K giveaway from a couple days ago. This is a good one. It's a Chris Taylor. He can, uh, I think Chris Taylor can play anywhere. He's in the All-Star game, right? And he's so versatile. They could use him wherever the heck they need to. Let's go ahead and see. Adam Smith. We need, so, we have uh, poor Andrew Smith there riding the UPS truck around hoping to win a card. We've had Albert Smith, and now we've had Adam Smith. So, wouldn't that be something that they're all brothers and 
Two of the brothers out of the three won. Let's check if Adam Smith is publicly subscribed. Just can't seem to get in an Andrew Smith. Adam Smith, uh, yep, you got it. Congratulations, Chris Taylor. Nice autograph from Tops Finest. RX says, I was just curious. I went to uh, high school with Dakota Hudson and Will Crow. That's pretty awesome. I think I never went to high school with anybody that was famous. Um, I did go to high school with someone that played in the NFL. Uh, he was a year ahead of me. He was in my algebra class. He only played like a season or two, so it's a name that like no one's going to know. He may not have even had any cards made. I should probably look up and see if he did. But I really appreciate that. Andy says, you're awesome for doing these giveaways. <coughs> Thank you very much, Andy. I really appreciate that. By the way, Andy is, uh, anytime I see Andy's name, I always think of the Mike Trout that she won in one of our box breaks. Uh, Kent Kobe up next. David Klatt, let's see. All of a sudden, I've got like a tickle in my throat. Don't you hate that? I got this tickle in my throat. I'm trying to suppress it. Uh, David Klatt, you got it. It's a Kent Kobe 83 autograph right there. So congratulations, David Klatt, on that bad boy. And JB says, blessings from Wisconsin. Heather says, didn't we graduate with Pittsburgh dad? I think he was a year ahead of us, Heather, or a year behind us. I don't remember him at all. But um, I, I think you mentioned that before. Heather and I graduated together, which is really awesome. Um, but Pittsburgh dad, who's a famous YouTuber, I think he has like 200,000 subscribers. Real famous, especially in Pittsburgh. How about a Shohei Otani rookie card from Gallery? Let's check this one out. I feel like he may have been like a year ahead of us. I don't know. There's an Edge Axis. Edge Axis. I don't know. Pittsburgh, that'd be funny if, uh, I think Heather mentioned this a while ago. You, she said, you should collab with Pittsburgh Dad and like open cards. Pittsburgh Dad would be getting all mad if we don't have to find his his pirates or he, he was saying parts. Like, uh, <laughs> He, he would probably uh, make the video just priceless. And Mess's thing says, the easiest way to get rid of tickle in your throat is to pull a Mike Trout rookie card. That's true. A lot of screaming and hooting and hollering out over that. Uh, man, when he wasn't after that Carlos Beltran, I just I just thought it wasn't going to happen. I was completely, it was like somebody just completely let the air out of my sails. Mark Thompson, let's see if he's publicly subscribed. And um, I could just, I kept, I was feeling a lot of anxiety last night too because I was going in there thinking, I was thinking we were going to find two Mike Trouts. I was thinking maybe we are going to find a parallel, a cognac worth $15,000 and maybe, the, maybe a gold card in a PSA 10. That goes for 20 to 30 grand. But uh, that none of those came. And uh, then finally in the last pack, we kept looking for Carlos Beltran, who's the indicator. Typically he follows it up. Uh, Mark Thompson, where are you at here? You, you, you got it, so congratulations. It's the Shohei Otani rookie card, which his base rookie cards now are like 20 bucks a piece. Raw, so that's an awesome run right there. Swizzle says, Eric, my name is spelled the same way. That's automatically making me a winner. That's awesome, man. Really appreciate that. Speaking of rookies, and uh, how about a Troy Polamalu rookie card? Um, that's a nice one right there. Sometimes I would play dumb when, uh, like when I was younger. I'd be like... Uh, yeah, I don't know any Steelers. Maybe that Troy Polamalu guy. And they're like, you really don't know anything about football. Troy Polamalu. The card co gets the Troy Polamalu rookie card. And um, it is going to someone. Uh, it's going to somebody else because you're not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Aqua Fish. Fredlin says, Jabs, Tops should sponsor you and uh, you could rip their pro I wish that they would. If Tops would like to sponsor me, I would not. Uh, I wouldn't ask for uh, any payment at all. I would just ask, hey. Can you just sell directly to me? I'll still pay the, the price for the case and everything and just maybe give me the case a day or two in advance or something like that. I don't need any money from you. I'm not, you know, that would be, be more than enough of a perk. I, I would love that for sure. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Tom, uh, Thompson did like a big rip and um, they reached out to other breakers, but they did not reach out to me. Aquaman, you got this one. So congratulations on that one. Next up, we've got a Juan Soto rookie, which I love this card. I just think it's a terrible picture of Soto. Like, he, he looks like he's about 50 years old in that picture. That always bothered me about this picture. Like, Ronald Acuna Jr. and his card, he looks like he's, like, 20. Soto looks like he's about literally 50 years old there. So we need to get Ike Rodriguez in a gallery and uh, have him take over there because that, that, that Juan Soto, that's a terrible picture. But here's the Juan Soto winner. And it's going to Ethan H. 
Ethan, let's see what we've got. Ethan H. is publicly subscribed. You got a Juan Soto rookie card coming your way. Even though he looks like he's really old. Ethan H., you got that one. Juan Soto, when this when this picture was taken, he was 18 years old. Uh, 18 or 19, he was super young. He, he's 21 right now. That was, th what, three years ago? So he's probably 18. How about a Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card right there? That's a nice one right there. Ronald Acuna Jr. gallery rookie card. Let's see who gets that bad boy. <clears throat> uh, it's for Miguel Canales. Miguel, let's check it out. Miguel Canales. And uh, you are publicly subscribed. So you got the nice Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card coming your way. Thank you very much. He looks more like 58 years old. How about a Glaber Day? Glaber Tours. Man, what's up with Glaber? Why is he not good anymore? Glaber's had two bad seasons after that great 2019. James Molinari is getting this one. If he's publicly subscribed. Molinari. Uh, he is. Congratulations. You've got the Glaber rookie card from Gallery. James Molinari. All the yeah, Yankees were just, man, they're just rough. Let's stick with gallery. These are all from, I believe, Francisco. A Martin Maldonado autograph right there. Martin Maldonado auto going out to... It's a Project Progress. Project Progress account. Let's see. Project Progress. And uh, not publicly subscribed. The league has figured out Glaber. Yeah, man. That's just terrible. Sean Miller. I'm almost thinking about, like, do I start buying Glaber PSA 10s for super cheap now? and just buy a low on him and hope he goes up. Hey, Sean Miller, congratulations, man. Says, I've been waiting for this, and now you have won a Martin Maldonado autograph. I really appreciate the support there, channel member and everything. Thanks for the extra uh, support. Martin Maldonado coming your way. Next up, this is a guy that's been a huge disappointment, Aristides Aquino. He had one good month, and that was about it. Sorry, Reds fans, but he's he's been a letdown. Nostalgia Factor gets the Aquino rookie card. Let's see. Nostalgia Factor. They are publicly subscribed. So Aquino 2020 uh, Archives. Um, Heather says, why does it say I haven't responded in search? I don't know. Oh, these are like comments like that I haven't responded to. Like if I responded to a comment, it wouldn't show up here for whatever reason. Um, that's just like I can take that off. But so that's like anyone. I, I haven't responded to anybody that left a comment in the 95K giveaway. So it's not going to really impact any results. Or Ben Roethlisberger rookie card. This is from the Penn Zone as well. Ben Roethlisberger is a future surefire Hall of Famer. It's going to X Hidden Rage. Hopefully, you like football. If not, you got a future Hall of Famer rookie card coming your way. It's a Ben Roethlisberger rookie card, which is a pretty good one. If you don't like it, I'll tell you what. You can probably go and trade it with somebody that does like football. And maybe, uh, so I don't know, see what it's worth and trade for a similar baseball card. Here's a nice snowflake parallel Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Jordy's a good one. Baseball card illustrates. It's hey jabs. Just checking in after softball. I saw I won a card. Awesome. By the way, we're giving away a Zach Granke Bowman Chrome rookie card at 500. Baseball card illustrated with the channel. That's awesome. Michael Junto gets this one. Really appreciate that. Just make sure you follow those directions there. Uh, make sure you get back to me within 24 hours um, because I get a ton of emails. And it, once it gets buried and down the chain, I probably wouldn't see it. So I'll be looking for the next 24 hours for the emails for this. And then after that, I'll just if you email me like too late, then I'm sorry. You just aren't going to get it. But... And don't, don't forget your address. Bill McDonald rookie card. It's a 51 Bowman in good shape from the Penn Zone. I really appreciate the Super Chat, though, by the way. It's Max Montgomery. Max Montgomery. Let's check out Max Montgomery and see what we've got. Nope, not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pull another one. It's a Ray Space T. Ray T. Noah I. Hey, that's the owner of the Big Bat Box. Says, hey, Eric, Noah here from the Big Bat Box. Hope you and the family are doing well. Congrats on 95K. Thanks, man. No, I really appreciate that. Can't wait to open the next Big Bat Box. Uh, as you know, those are people love the subscription boxes, videos, and the Big Bat Box is one of our most 
watch ones out of those subscription box videos, especially your your higher one, the diamond big bat boxes. So thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully your health is good. I really appreciate all the support uh, and the, that you've shown my channel now. I hope you guys will check out the big bat box. Joker Dog says, glad we didn't have to go to the bullpen yesterday. Joker Dog, thank you very much. You talk about the Buccos, got rained out, so the, the uh, relievers are fresh after being beat around the night or the day before against the Braves. We actually had uh, John Nagowski, uh, who's – you're probably like, who? Yeah, I'm right there with you. John Nagowski, had, like uh, someone that's not really known, plays first base for the Buccos. He actually came in and pitched, a position player pitched for the Pirates, and wouldn't you know it, he threw a scoreless inning. Hey, Heather's got the link to the big bat box right there. Thanks, Heather, for dropping that. Ray, you've got the uh, Bill McDonald 51. Love this card. Barry Bonds, 86 Donruss, the rookies rookie card. That's a good one. Uh, Ike says, just emailed you a preview of the Jerry Rice rookie card painting. Tops can't afford me. Man, I can't wait to see that one. Make sure you check out Ike at the National, folks. Benjamin Loot with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much. All about baseball. Let's check you all out. All about baseball. Going for a Barry Bonds 86 Don Ross. This is an awesome one right here. And he is publicly subscribed. He's Whoops, I accidentally clicked on your channel there. Let's go and give you your card information. There you go. Congratulations. You got it. All about baseball. Gets the Bonds. 86 Don Ross. For those of you wondering how many cards we've got at home, it's about two big stacks, two big handfuls of filled with cards i don't have a lot of vintage but i have a little bit and here's a raleigh fingers 1978 hall of famer that's a nice one right there i'll uh i'll let you know when we run out of cards here or get close to it slipknot within without the k slip not raleigh fingers up for grabs and uh, you're not subscribed i definitely did see you there at the top of my list and it just said nope not a subscriber so we're gonna pull another one Mets beating the Pirates 13 to 2 right now. Yikes. Christopher Basta is going to get this one. Let's that's a name from the past. He's been around for a while. Hopefully you're subscribed. And uh there he is. He is for a year. Thank you very much. Got the Raleigh Fingers 1978 Tops card. That's a great set. I love that set. A lot of good rookies, Hall of Fame rookies in there like Paul Molitor and Alan Trammell and Eddie Murray and there's an Edgar Martinez rookie card by the way. 1988 Fleer rookie of Edgar Martinez. Sarah Ann Stevens is going to get this one. Sarah Ann Stevens. Let's check you out and see what we've got here. Unfortunately, that's not going to work for me. So did I spell Stevens wrong? I did. Sorry, Sarah. Sarah Ann Stevens. I'm just going to blame it on uh, autocorrect. You're not publicly subscribed, though, so we got to go ahead and pull another one. How about we try everything sports? everything sports and that one is uh, a good good account they're subscribed let's go ahead and give you the edgar martinez thank you very much am i going to the national i hope to don't know what day yet but uh likely be there probably just for one day though i think that's uh i think it's a bit much to you know have the kiddos there for multiple days there's jazz chisholm they might get bored i'll, I'll be there i, I hope to Maybe make a video or two worth of content there. How about the Brad Co? That's the plan right now. The Brad the Brad Co. Was it 311? Uh, it was all one word, I guess. Whoops. Try that again. The Brad Co. 311. Andrew Smith says, congrats on 95K. Thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate the support tonight. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in night in and night out. Tomorrow we'll have, um, I've got a video of Saturday Showdown that I'm going to do. I've got another video in the works. It's the, uh, I think we're waiting on one person to pay for their invoice. It's the, uh, it's Blasters. Here's a uh, nice, what is it, 83, Ricky Henderson. It's Blasters of World's Greatest Card Chase. Let's see if those are any good. Devin Moe. I've got some, I've got an opinion on those. We'll talk a little bit about it in that video, but we're opening 20 blasters of them. Devin Moe is subscribed. You got the Henderson Fleer card. Congratulations on that. Devin Moe, thank you for being publicly subscribed. Yeah, Devin, Devin Moe, I love 83 Fleer. It's a great set. Love that 83 Gwyn and the 83 Sandberg and the 83 Boggs. How about Jordan Yamamoto? I think I pulled that out of a pack out of a boom box. Jordan Yamamoto on card auto. It's going out to Matt Easterday. 
let's check you out and see if you're publicly subscribed. Matt Easter Day, not a subscriber. Let's go again to the next one. Noah, see if you are publicly subscribed. And you are not, so we got to do another one. How about we try DJ and see if DJ is publicly subscribed. D Space J, that might be a tough one in terms of getting search results, but hey, not not really. You came up right away. But there we go. You got it. DJ, I really appreciate that. Go ahead and get you listed on there. Next up, another Barry Bonds rookie card. This not wait, this isn't his rookie. It's a it's a false rookie card right here. It's actually the 88 Sport Flicks Barry Bonds it was submitted. Uh, in one of the pen boxes. So it's the 88 Sport Flicks. It's a second, or actually a third year for Sport Flicks. Larry Aulis gets this one. Larry, let's see what we've got. Uh, you've got the 88 Sport Flicks Barry Bonds. Uh, depends on says that's an 87. It's actually, isn't it an 87? It's got to be an 88 because look, it's got his 87 stat line on there. So that, that tells me it's an 88. But still a really cool card. Thanks, Dave, for submitting it. And Larry is going to get this one. And um, Noah I says, get yourself a card on me at the National. Just a small thanks for your support of this hobby. No, that's awesome, man. Thank you very much. $50. There's a lot of great cards you can get for $50. I think um, I think I just bought like a Manny Machado PSA 10. I've been buying like a PSA card a day. Uh, a lot of them, I'm trying to stick to $50 or less. But um I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go after a PSA card with that, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. Noah, I have the big bat box. Hope you guys will go and check him out. And my oh my breaks that I missed your super chat. I apologize. The chat's rolling along really quickly tonight, and I'm trying to uh do all these different things like uh keep track of everything here. Uh, my on my break says, congratulations, Jabs. Here's to many more subscriber giveaways. Thanks to you. I only need 23 more subscribers to get to 100. Thank you for the cards and the entertainment. My on my breaks, you're almost there. We've got almost 900 people in here right now. I hope that uh, we can get 23 of you to get on over to my oh my and help him get to 100. That's always a, a nice, nice mile marker for you. That anytime you get to that nice round number. How about a Ralph Kiner? That's a nice one right there. That's a great one. Beauty of a card. Ralph Kiner. This is a cut auto, which, as you know, once the player passes away, sometimes the only time they can get uh, put still put um, still put autos in there is, you know, the cut autos, which you saw with Roger Maris. So thank you very much to the Big Bat Box. No, I have very generous super chat. Jeff Craig, Gretzky rookie. Jeff Craig probably really hopes that he's publicly subscribed now because that's a great card. Ralph Kiner, Jeff, you're not subscribed. That that hurts. That was a good one right there. Now. It's going to somebody else. Now, how about D's Boys Toys? Let's check out D's. And hopefully they're publicly subscribed. Here we go. Ralph Kiner is... Yeah, how about that one, man? You've been subscribed for 11 months. to D's Boys? That's... Uh, a lot of people want that one. D's Boys Toys. Got your name on the card for you. It's reserved for the next 24 hours. Next up, how about your most valuable player, Jose Abreu? It's a purple. It's a Topps Chrome Parallel. Jose Abreu is going to Joey Gonsoir. So let's see if Joey is publicly subscribed. I'll just check out that last name. Nope. Got to pull another one. And let's go ahead and try. Benjamin Lute says, forgot the message in my super chat earlier. What's up, Benjamin Lute? Thank you very much for the support. Having a great day today. And Dayton, let's see if Dayton's publicly subscribed. Like I said, we went out to two card stores today in the Johnstown area. And, uh, man, the kids really liked seeing all the cards there. And um, they were good enough to break it into two different videos. We'll do one one from each store. And um, I didn't buy much at the second store, but they did let me go down in their basement, which was really awesome. So I think you guys are going to enjoy that behind-the-scenes look. How about a Zach Gallen coming up next? Rookie of Zach Gallen, who I like, even though the Diamondbacks are terrible this year. John Jacobson. Let's see what we got for you, Jacobson. And, uh, yeah, you're publicly subscribed, so you got it. You said you want something for your daughter's collection. We got you a Zach Gallen rookie card, at least. So, John Jacobson, I'll get your name on this one. 
Next up, how about another Hall of Fame? This is a nice game-used relic. It's a Hall of Famer. It's Bill Mazeroski, who won Game 7 of the 1960 World Series with that walk-off home run against the Yankees. One of the best plays of all time. It's Sal Capriola possibly getting this one. Let's check you out, Sal. Sal Capriola is not publicly subscribed. That hurts, man. Let's try again. Michael D. Michael DeBalda. Let's check you out and see if you're publicly subscribed. Michael DeBalda. Yes, you are subscribed. Wait a minute. Well, that's the same account, right? I don't know why it didn't uh, come up there. Can you bat down? Literally the same account. So yeah, you got it. It's the Bill Mazeroski game use bat. All right, let's see. Make sure I think I shout out a super chat just pop up. And it is. It is from Boof. It says, Shohei Otani just home run, hit home run number 33. Man, he's on a tear. Christian Javier, somebody sent this in for a giveaway. Let's give away this Christian Javier rookie card. But yeah, Otani's now five home runs ahead of Tatis and Vladdy now. Those guys are kind of stalled out at 28 for now. How about Xavier 48? Xavier 48 with the Christian Javier rookie card. Not publicly. Well, wait a minute. We got a couple of Xavier 48s. The uh, the alternate account, though, is not publicly subscribed, so we got to pull another one. Got to have uh, got to ha have to have that commenter publicly subscribed. Have a Collector Sawyer. Love that card uh, right there. The card number 410 from Series 2, Collector Sawyer. Very nice avatar. Let's go ahead and check you out and see what we've got. Collector Sawyer is... Uh, uh, maybe I should have typed in the whole thing there because there's quite a few Sawyers. Well, let's try that again. Collector. Uh, no, it says, we'll donate a Big Bat box for a 100K giveaway. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. That'll be a fun one to rip open us, too. Why can't we find Collector Sawyer? All right. I would buy a Tatis, Vlad, and a Cunha. Let's try that. I would buy a Tatis, Vlad, and a Cunha. I'll just type in your exact comment. And what? Well, okay. I would buy Tatis. All right, so let's take out that. I would buy Tatis, Vlad. We're looking for you hard here, Collector Sawyer. I'm trying to double check. <laughs> I would buy Tatis, Vlad, and Acuna. Here we go. Let's see. Collector Sawyer. What's up with your account, man? There you are. Took a little while, but we worked on it. We got you. So all that for Christian Javier. Hopefully, I mean, a lot of people in the Astros organization think he's going to be pretty good. So Collector Sawyer, got that one in the books for you. Let's do another rookie card. This one's a Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, 87 Donruss. 87 Donruss, rookie of Bo Jackson. I like that card a lot. And hopefully Aiden likes that card as well because it's yours if you are a subscriber. Aiden, was it Carney? Let's see here. Hopefully I spelled it right. Uh, not publicly subscribed. Oh Yeah, Tony might hit 60 home runs. That would be crazy. Daniel Gagne is getting the next one. Love that last name. It always reminds me of Eric Gagne. Uh, Daniel Gagne is publicly subscribed. You got a Bo Jackson 87 Don Russ card. Congratulations on that one. Daniel Gagne. Gagne. Aloy Jimenez. This card was donated. It's a 2018 Aloy Jimenez Bowman card. Back before he made his big league debut, Rick Ponce is going to get this one. Rick Ponce, let's see. Um, yeah, you got it. Am I going to the Colorado for the All-Star game? I was thinking about it. I was seriously considering it. I was at the point where I was, you know, very, very close to thinking about it. Like, I was, you know, I was probably going to go, but um, plans changed, and I'm glad that the plans did change. I got new plans now for those days, and um, I'll be spending those days with Heather instead of going out to the All-Star game, which is a much better um, day for me. How about Richard Bailey? I, I know that name. Richard Bailey's been in some of our breaks. Hope you get the Colossal Garrett Cole patch right now, and you do. Congratulations. You got the Cole Colossal patch of Garrett Cole. That was out of a pen pack. So Richard Bailey, you got this one. Derek called me a simp, man. <laughs> you could call me that all day. Uh, but at the end of the day, I have Heather. There is Jesus Lusardo. Whoops, I dropped Jesus Lusardo. It is a nice 
um, game used relic right there. Tops Vintage 316. Tops Vintage 316. And uh, you are publicly subscribed, so you got that one. Tops Vintage 316. That's a nice Jesus Lusardo. Uh, Donald Blomdahl with a super chat says, enjoying a series of WOW walk-off wax. Open box 13 out of 16 today on my Hall of Fame live stream. Walk-off wax is nice. Uh, Tawny Rookie for 80 bucks, selling well on my 70 cent auction. So Donald Blomdahl, thank you very much. And Benjamin Loot says, skipped on my Rays game four tonight, that 2019 sealed box. Looking at that one, Benjamin Loot and Donald Blomdahl, thank you very much. And also we have Jay Feist says, have you ever ripped a box of Alan and Ginter Chrome on your channel? We did do that last year when that came out. It was brand new. You might remember. Uh, Alan and Ginter Chrome, I think, is a terrible product because there's no autographs in there. It was like, super expensive for the box, and it's just mostly a bunch of base cards. I didn't like that set at all. Nathan Valdi is coming up next. I really appreciate the support tonight, guys. Thank you for those three super chats. And, yeah, walk-off waxes, I think they're out of the game now. Hobby collector, I think they had to shut down with all the prices of boxes going so so far up. Um, they're just, they weren't able to, I guess, put out their product anymore. Um, and they didn't want to reduce the amount of packs or up the price. I feel you, man. Uh, walk off wax. Like I buy boxes all the time and, um, you know, I'm paying a lot more for my stuff as well for all my Patreon boxes and stuff like that. I used to be able to get the boxes for like $22 to $22 a piece. Now I'm paying 30 to 35 per blaster for the, you know, the Patreon members. And uh, it does stink. So Walk Off Wax is shut down just because, you know, the price of uh, everything has gone up so much. But uh, Donald Blomdahl still ripping his stuff. So if you'd like to see that, uh, check out Donald Blomdahl's channel. And we got a $20 super chat from Post Game Interview. Card says, Tops Vintage 316. Hope you win on my channel too. Thanks, Jabs, for inspiring me to make a channel. Post Game Interview cards. Very generous super chat right there. Garrett Mitchell's a first round pick, by the way. This is a nice first Bowman. We'll give this away next. Post Game Interview, I really appreciate that. I hope that you guys will check his channel out and give him some support. Thank you so much for supporting mine. Like I said, there's a lot of great channels out there that do baseball cards. I know that when I'm working late at night on like packages or whatever, and uh, I like watching uh, videos as well, so it's always nice to find another baseball card channel out there to check out. So Chris Edwards, you're going to get this one. I jumped the gun a little bit and uh, wrote your name on the card already, so I hope I don't have to go and scratch it out. It's going to look really ugly to whoever ultimately gets it. And luckily, you are publicly subscribed, so congratulations. You got the first of Garrett Mitchell, who was a first-round pick. We've got another football card here for you footballers. It's a Ben Roethlisberger and Eli Manning game use dual relic. That one is from the Penn Zone as well. Let's see who gets this one. Richard Kirker. Let's see what we got here for you. That's a name that I recognize. I think we've seen him around here before. He's publicly subscribed. And you've got the dual relic. So congratulations, Richard Kirker. Got your name on it for you. It's reserved for the next 24 hours for you. Kevin says, dreams may come true, so I wait and I wait and I wait. How about a Jason Hayward game use relic out of Tom's Holiday? Let's see who we've got for Hayward. It is Ryan Barron getting this one. Let's check you out, Ryan Barron, and see if you're subscribed and you're not. So we got to pull another one. How about we go with Ripping Packs Baseball? Ripping Packs Baseball. Ripping Packs. I think that was one word, Space Baseball. And, of course, they put a space in there. It'll make it a little harder on me, but I caught it. And you are subscribed, so you get the game used relic of jason hayward so ripping packs baseball really appreciate that let's see who we got next we got a nice rookie here and key brian hayes the number one overall rookie from series two i'm still gonna have him there i think Cronenworth may eventually pass him up at least right now heather's got the link to jay feist heather thank you very much for dropping that link uh silver streeter 22 silver streeter a lot of people going after tatis and Trouts on there as their like main card they want to go for. Unfortunately, Silver Streeter is not subscribed. Jay Feist says, how about Diamond Icons? Thank you, Jay Feist. Michael Keane, that's a name that we've seen a lot in breaks. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be subscribed. There he is. Got it. Congratulations on the Key Brian Hayes rookie card. Uh, for Diamond Icons, I really appreciate the Super Chat. By the way, thank you very much for supporting the channel. With Diamond Icons, I, I don't have any of that coming. Um, it's tough. It's going to be really tough for me to get. Like I said, it's like $3,000 a box on Steel City. Byron Laura, this is a great one right here. First Bowman Chrome, Byron Laura. Commando G-Man. Let's check you out. G-Man might be enough to do it. 
not publicly subscribed. I've got to pull another one. But yeah, if I can get it, I know Museum Collection will be our next break. Scott Ar Ariso is the next one. For sure, I've got, um, uh, Scott's not subscribed either, and at least publicly. I, for sure, we have Museum Collection and Gypsy Queen the next two Wednesdays. Eric Stahl is coming up next. Those are the breaks that I have confirmed. I'll try to get Diamond Icons, but I don't know if we can get it done. Eric Stahl says, I would just be happy any card that comes my way. Well, guess what? You've got yourself a Byron Laura first Bowman Chrome. That's a pretty good one. Bill, I have not been to the post office for the last couple of days. I think the last time I was there was a Wednesday, and I, I don't think I saw it. So it's probably sitting there for me on my uh, – they, they have like a shelf for me because I order a lot off of eBay stuff. It's probably sitting there on my shelf behind the counter. But I got Matt Beatty autograph coming up next. I really appreciate that. Um, the pen zone says, Eric, I'm still hung up on that Sportflix card. If you have it handy, check the manufacturer. I know it says 87 the stats, but it also says it was made in 87. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was made, uh, maybe, well, sometimes they made cards at the end of the year and they, the old cards they used to put out, uh, like top shoes come out like December and stuff. Like I would, I would get like 89 tops for like Christmas of 89 or whatever, or something like that, or like 90 tops or Christmas 90, uh, for example. See, so it gets this Matt Beatty. I guess you just have to go look at the design of the Sport Flex and see. Matt Beatty autograph going to L. Weems. Let's see what we've got. L. Weems is uh, publicly subscribed. You got it. It's a Matt Beatty autograph coming your way, L. Weems. All right, so the stack of cards is whittling down. It's about one stack left. Let's do the one of one right now. This is an awesome card. It's a one of one. Fernando Tatis Jr., hand-painted by Marcus Fussell Art. It's an actual box topper that he redid. Fernando Tatis, one of one, going out to Chris Moore. How about that one? And he's a huge Tatis fan, it looks like, based off of his comment of the card he's after. I'd get a nice Tatis auto. We'll give you a nice Tatis one of one right there. So congratulations to you, Chris Moore. That's a nice, nice win for you. Uh, you know, made possible by Marcus Fossil Art, who's also got those monster mystery boxes, which are awesome. Uh, we've opened those a couple times, did like a large scale break, and uh, people were really happy with uh, the cards we pulled out of those. Randy Rose Arena rookie card for Galvin Gonzalez coming up next. That's his update rookie card, which is a nice one. Galvin Gonzalez is publicly subscribed. I just accidentally clicked out of it there so let me go back to it galvin gonzalez says i'd love any braves cards now i think we got it there we go sorry about that galvin gonzalez got it for you all right luis roberts coming up next luis robert this is his gallery card chris says please call my name oh you know it's it's up to this comment picker. We've got William Brown. William Brown, let's check you out and see what we've got. William Brown. Devlin says, Bonds had an 86 and an 88 support flicks card, but not one in 87, so it's almost certainly a 1988, says Devlin. I was get, trying to get to the, the, the bottom of that uh, Bonds card. It's definitely a Bonds Sport Flicks card, but it's not the 86. I have the 86 Bonds rookie card from Sport Flicks. It's not that one. So it's either 87 or 88. Um, I guess we just have, I guess go to eBay, maybe type in Bonds 88 Sportflix and see if it's that same picture. Still a cool card either way. How about Luis Robert? It's a Bowman Chrome prospect card. Luis Robert Bowman Chrome. This one goes out to Rob South. Everybody seems to hate Luis Robert, at least price wise. The hobby's not respecting him at all. I have been buying his PSA cards. Maybe I'm a weirdo. Maybe I'll be wrong, but, um, you guys know I've been on the Luis Robert bandwagon for a while. How about Jordan Alvarez, rookie card, 1985 refractor. Nice Yordi. This one goes to Jared Hand. Uh, Devlin says, I am keep on buying Robert. I'm hoping for an Otani-type rise. Uh, so Jared Hand coming up next. Jared Hand. And um, you know what, Jared? You're not publicly subscribed, so we do have to pull another winner. How about we try Brandon Collier? That's a name that we see in our breaks a lot. I'm pretty sure he's going to be publicly subscribed, and he's not, unfortunately. We've got to pull another one. How about we go with uh, Derek Brown with some fire emojis? Derek Brown. Hopefully we can get someone that's subscribed. He likes to leave the fire emojis, but he's not subscribed. Got to pull. How about Old Man Game? 
Old man game. Old man game is, uh, oh man. Old man game, you making it hard on me here. Old man gamers at the bottom. Let's try this again. The best Tom Brady rookie. I'm going to try to search that. You didn't come up. The best Tom Brady rookie. The best Tom Brady rookie. And uh, there you are. You're publicly subscribed. So it took a weird little roundabout way to find you, but, you know, we got you. You got the Jordan Alvarez 1985 style refractor. Next up, we got another... Uh, nice one right here. Bo Bichette rookie card. This is his Prism rookie. Diamond Princess is in the house. Hey, Diamond Princess. So let's check out this Bo Bichette and see if we can find a home for this guy. Alex DiPolo. Alex DiPolo is coming up uh, as a non-subscriber. So we got to do another one. Bo Bichette rookie from Prism. How about Maddie P? Maddie P. And Maddie P is going to be subscribed there. So congratulations, Maddie P. Um, has a lot of different comments there. We'll just toss it in this one. Matty P, just double checking. That picture doesn't match. So, uh, I don't know what's going on here, man. That That's not the same Matty P. That's So, let's go. And, uh, I would get a ton of PSA and BGS 10. I would get a ton of PSA. PSA, don't correct it, and BGS. Hey, Chris Cards in the house. Man, Chris Cards has a great uh, mystery uh, TTM Mondays. I love his stuff that he does over there on M Mondays. I think the last one I watched was maybe a week or two ago. He got six returns. Um, he says, congrats on 95K, Eric. A monster number in our little niche, our niche little world. Um, buy those Lou Bobs like I bought all those cheap Vlad Juniors in 2020. It'll pay off. Chris Cards, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate that. Check out his channel, guys. He's got like 3,000 subscribers. Does a really really cool TTM uh, Mondays, Through the Mail Mondays. Check him, that out if you don't know what that is. Maybe um, um, that's something you might be interested in. I would buy a ton of PSA and BGS. I think it... I don't want bags. I just want BGS. I'm trying to find this guy. a Matty P. All right, how about we just try Franco and Jazz? We're trying to find you here. Franco and Jazz. There he is, all that, and you're not subscribed. Darn it. Let's do another guy. How about a Adam Miller? Let's see if you're subscribed. Looking for a home for a Boba Shett rookie card here. Hey, we got a home for you. It's Adam Miller's house. Adam, congratulations. Robert Garland says, just got held up on the way in to watch. Congrats. Keep up the great work, Robert. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, L. Williams says, I had to step away for five minutes to get the kid ready for bed, and I win while I'm away. Thanks, Chaz, for all you do. You're welcome, man. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, here we go. Walker Bueller rookie card from Series 1 of 2018 Tops. Love this card. I was a big fan of this card when it first came out before Walker Bueller was a big name. Paul Hayes. Let's see if you're going to get a Bueller rookie. And you're not. You're not subscribed, unfortunately. Let's pull another. How about we go with Katie Scaro? Katie Scaro, thanks for being a watcher of the channel. But let's see if you're subscribed. You are. And you've been subscribed for... Uh, it doesn't tell us. Thank you very much for watching. Six months. Nice long-term subscriber there. I hope you like Walker Bueller. I'm a big fan of Buells. I don't know if that's the nickname for him or not. How about Randy Rosarena? That is a nice chrome rookie card. Randy Rosarena. Let's see who's going to get this bad boy. Brian McMillan. Brian McMillan. Let's see if we can find a home for this one. Brian McMillan. And, yep, he'd go after a Ben Roethlisberger, but uh, rookie auto. We had a Roethlisberger rookie we gave away, so he missed out on that one. But, hey, he still got a rookie card. Rose Rain is no slouch. If he has a big second half, he might come away with the American League uh, Rookie of the Year award. I think he's still eligible for that. Well, Keston here, a rookie card from Heritage High number 2019. Keston here, a rookie card, and it is going to Jim Galley. See if he's publicly subscribed. He's not. Let's pull another Keston Hira winner. How about Nick Jack TSB? Nick Jack. I wonder if it's from Top Shelf Breaks. I don't know. Nick Jack TSB. 
What? It went to Nick Knack? Come on. Nick Jack. Don't autocorrect me. TSB. Yes, you're publicly subscribed. Congrats. You've got the Keston Hira. Nick Jack. All right, so here's what we've got left in terms of if you're wondering how many cards are left, I can fit it into one hand. I'm going to show you the stack right now. We also have that blaster, which will do last. That's like a $150 blaster. Here's what we got. This much left. So I don't know how many cards there. might be 15 or so. Aloy Jimenez Bowman Chrome is up next. So the Aloy Jimenez, some people say Aloy, some people say Eloy. Family of Wolves in Pennsylvania. So Wolves, Family of Wolves. Family of Wolves in Pennsylvania, not publicly subscribed, unfortunately. Got to pull another one, Simon Clay. Let's see about you. Simon Clay, are they subscribed? They are, so congratulations. You've got the Aloy Jimenez Bowman Chrome, Simon Clay. Eric Rojas says, let's go Jabs. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Let's check out Joe Adele next. Find a home for a Joe Adele rookie card. Uh, Let's see if Joe Adele, I think he's going to be a, a solid player for sure. Let's see what we've got for Craig Zagata. Is he going to be publicly subscribed? Zagata, that's a fun name to say. P Word says, Come on, Jab, send something my way. P Word, thank you very much. Hey, you just got to increase odds right here because Craig's not subscribed. P, thank you very much. I am the architect. And Thomas says, Me and my wife, Beth, love your channel. Thomas, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. Thomas the Architect. Thank you so much for the super chats. Did I spell something wrong here? I, I am the Architect, man. I am the Architect. Uh, and you're subscribed, so we got it. So thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that, Thomas, and also P. Wirt. Hopefully we can get some uh, cards sent your way here by, you know, some luck. We might. We'll see. I am the Architect. Next up, we've got Johnny Bench. This is a 1980 Topps card. I actually got that out of a 10 cent box. I was like, I'm gonna just pick this up and put in the 95K giveaway. It's for Wesley Wise. Wesley Wise. Let's see, 1980 Topps, Johnny Bench, not publicly subscribed. I need to get some more vintage stuff for you guys for next time we do this. Luke Whitlock. Let's check Luke out, Luke Whitlock. Thank you. Thank you, Sullivan. I really appreciate that. Not publicly subscribed. Got to go again. How about we go with Dale Crary? Dale Crary. Apologize if I screwed the name up. Yeah, there we go. You got a Johnny Bench 1980 Tops. I love the 80 Tops set. Dale Crary. That was one of the sets that we uncovered down in the basement, digging through like all these unopened boxes of collections that were bought. Uh, he pulls, he's like, what's in here? Oh, it's 80, 80 top set with Ricky Henderson rookie on the top. Alec Bohm, this is a Bohm base card. Alec Bohm, 20 Bowman. It's for Landon Rice. And let's check out Landon Rice. And Landon Rice is not subscribed. We got to go ahead and do it once again. How about FJ DeKang? Check out DeKang. And, uh, yep, you've got the Bohm base Bowman card, F.J. DeKang. The collector says, the 2011 Topps update break was scary. It might be the most anxiety I've ever had in a break. Just watch the break, and it's just, it builds. It's 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 bad. Ryan Mountcastle and Bobby Dalbeck. Let's see who's going to get the uh, Mountie right here. Personally, I value Mountie more than Dalbeck. No offense, Red Sox fans, but it's just my personal ranking. Anthony D, maybe going to get this one. Uh, Anthony D is publicly subscribed. You got it. So congrats. Got the Mount Castle. Anthony D. Yeah, it was that. That wasn't that was an epic break. That might have been the scariest break that I've ever done. And uh, I'll tell you what. Whenever we have like uh, you know bad like something bad happens, um, if we wouldn't have found the trout, I I, I personally think the box wasn't searched it would have just been something but i would have uh thrown my own trout into the ring and uh given that off to somebody if there was no trout in there because uh, i felt like it should have been after that uh Carlos beltron but lo and behold it was just later on in the pack there's luis robert rookie card right there love that one 
We, uh, as you know, we've had two other instances where we had bad mojo and breaks. We had a 70, what was it? Uh, it was an OPG box from 77 or something like that. No, 72 OPG box. Paid $5,000 for it. It looked like somebody threw it at the, to the bottom of the ocean. And um, since I opened the freaking box, I couldn't get a refund on it. So I lost $5,000, but I still refunded everybody's money. And uh, we had a 79 tops break with uh, Ozzy Smith. It was the sheet C break. It was an awful break. And um, we actually redid that break. So we did a second box. So somebody eventually did get the Ozzy Smith. Uh, PSA one cards on Instagram. I accidentally clicked over to my live stream there where I dropped the uh, Patreon link. I forgot to close that down. But PSA one, and I reading your cards there, uh, or your chat, I accidentally wrote your name on the card. Luckily, you're subscribed, so I don't have to black that out. I did the Billy Ripken blackout box right over your name. So you got that one. How about a Sammy Sosa rookie card from 1990 Bowman? Sosa rookie, Hector Silva. I think these might have been out of a pen pack. Hector Silva. Um, Dave Penn's one of the few people that still uses these. These are tough to find anymore, these rookie card ones. Uh, with the rookie card designation on there. So that's how I know it's from a pen pack. I never you can even find those anymore. So Hector, you got the Sammy Sosa rookie card. Congratulations on that one. And next up, we've got another. It's a Big Hurt from Bowman. The Big Hurt 90 Bowman, also from a pen pack. Frank Thomas. First, I have to find a winner for it. Lots of clicking. It's Mike Engert. It's a name that we recognize from Patreon, and um, he is publicly subscribed. So congratulations on the Big Hurt rookie card. Mike Angert gets this one. Next up, we've got also donated by the Pen Packs. It's a Juan Gon rookie card. Juan Gonzalez, who had a lot of autographs in Stadium Club, and I think it was the most recent break we did. Hector, just Hector gets this one. We might have a couple Hectors coming up. Let's see if we can find you here. Uh, just Hector by himself. Where are you at? I see Hector Ortiz a bunch of times. Lots of, I don't see a Hector without a last name here. So we're going to have to go about this another way here. Ryan Sandberg. How about we just search Ryan Sandberg or Ernie Banks? Ryan Sandberg or Ernie Banks. Let's see if we can locate you that way. There he is. You're subscribed. I don't know why it didn't show me your name there. You got a Wong Gone rookie card. Wong Gone for Hector. Next up, we have Gavin Lux. This is a Decades Next 2020 rookie card. Decades Next. And it is going to Jerry Ross. Let's check out Jerry Ross and see what we have. Jerry Ross is um, not subscribed. Let's pull another. How about we go with the... Oh, man. How am I going to search this one? I don't know how to type in those. Uh, Otani is the card I'd be going after. I'll go with that. Otani is the card I'd be going after. Well, that really stinks. There he is. So I'm glad that we were able to easily find you there. And there's your directions there. The real dingo with those weird... I don't even know what that's called. That little character there josh bell rookie card josh bell's been picking it up of late after a terrible start joe kinnaird let's see what we've got for you joe kinnaird and uh not subscribe let's go ahead and do another one now we have lucas hessen hessen will be our key term that we search and uh you are publicly subscribed you have a josh bell rookie card coming your way so congratulations lucas Got your name on the card for you. How about we go with the Cal Ripken? Nice Cal Ripken pink from Chrome. That's a nice parallel right there. Cal Ripken Jr. A couple nice cows. Uh, Jeff said, did last night break the record for the most live years? I don't think it quite did. I think, it, was it our 79 or 78 break? It may have had over 3,000. I think maybe another 2011 one may have had a little bit more. Maybe if I would have gone a little bit later in the day, we could have got over 3,000. I think we, what did we max out at last year? Was it like 27 or 2,800? It was up there. I think we did break 3,000 once, though. Um, Rose City Sports Cards. It may have been like a Diamond Icons break. Those ones get a ton of years as well. Rose City Sports Cards. Let's see if you 
are publicly subscribed. Definitely a heavily viewed video. Rose City Sports Cards. Um, not publicly subscribed. We've got to do it again. Uh, let's see what we've got. Kruger, I don't think we saw you at, yet. Cameron Heil, Heiliger? Let's see, Cameron. Let's see if you are publicly subscribed. If I spelled your name right, you are. Congratulations. You've got a Cal Ripken Jr. pink refractor there. So, Cameron, got your name on the card for you. Next up, Nico Horner rookie card. This was donated by, I forget who, Nico Horner rookie card. It's an opening day rookie card, which kind of, you know, lowers the value by a bit, but still cool card. Spencer Langley. Spencer Langley. The highest we've gone is about 3,400, says a mess of things. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think we've gone higher than that, but still that's a lot of, a lot of concurrent viewers for sure. RJ71 is not publicly subscribed, so we're having trouble getting away the Nico Horner here. Um, how about a Kawis Bewezy? Bewezy is going to probably do it for us. Yes, you're subscribed. Nico Horner rookie card for you. Get your name on it. All right, we've got maybe 10 cards left, if that, so we're getting down towards the end of it. Next up is a Gavin Lux Turkey Red rookie card. Let's find a home for this bad boy. It's a The Greenskeeper. The Greenskeeper, all one word. Let's see what we've got for you. You're publicly subscribed. We've got a Gavin Lux Turkey Red rookie card. Congratulations. Message Thing says, is this taking longer than you thought? No, this is actually going a lot faster than I thought because it seems like 90% of people are subscribed that entered this contest, which is awesome. Robert Powelson first from 2020 Bowman. Um, we are a little over, we've given away a lot more cards than the 85 to give away. We might be like almost double that. Dad for life. Dad for life. Let's go and check you out. So I think the last giveaway like this was about two hours. And I was expecting to maybe go three hours or more tonight with all the cards that we had to give away. Dad for Life, you have this one. Congratulations. Go ahead and give you your info right there. This is a nice one as well. It's a Bobby Witt Jr. first. Let's see who gets that bad boy. I almost knocked the camera over there. A little bit of tape threw me off kilter. Jacob Myers for a Bobby Witt Jr. first. Let's see. Jacob Myers. And uh, you are publicly subscribed, so you got the Bobby Witt first card. Congratulations, Jacob Myers. We still got that Wander Franco first coming up. As I can see, it's coming up very soon. Shohei Otani parallel. It's one of those, I think it's, is that a Rapture parallel? I, with, the, with Panini parallels, I'm not as good with the names. There's a Mitchell Sandy. I don't open it nearly as much Panini. Mitchell Sandy. Let's see what we've got for you. It's not going to be yours. You're not subscribed. Let's do it again. How about Nick Powell? Nick Powell, is he going to be subscribed? Uh, yeah, he is. So congrats on the Otani parallel. Nick Powell. We're getting down to that blaster, the big one. How about a nice Bo Bichette Topps Chrome rookie card? That's a great one right there. I like the look of that one. The Chrome turkey red you could only get those i can't remember if it was just in uh what was that in a certain product alan jinx gets this one if he's subscribed i don't think it was a 10 but let's see it may have been a 10 all right alan jinx you've got the Bo bichette Card, by the way, Timmy pulled Dante Bichette, rookie card 89 uh, Donruss today. I was explaining, that's Bo Bichette's dad, and he was pretty stoked about that because he loves Bo Bichette as well. Here's a Trey Turner rookie card from Donruss from Optic. Let's see, Trey Turner rookie card. First, let me reply to that. Now let's get back over here. And Trey Turner, Brian Moravec. That's a name that we recognize. Hopefully he's subscribed. Moravec. There he goes. Got the Trey Turner rookie card. And we have three left. Guys, we're almost done. Just three left. Three cards. Well, two cards and a, and a box. A box. It's a Dylan Cease. This is a nice Prism Donut Circle Red Parallel. 
Let's find a home for the Dylan Cease autograph. It's going to be a Lloyd Livingstone. A Lloyd Livingstone. Let's see if you're going to get it. Lloyd Livingstone. Um, nope. We got to pull another one. Let's see who it is. It's how about Dalen? Let's see if is it Dalen or Dellen? Let's see. Dalen is going to be subscribed. You got the nice Dylan Cease red autograph right there. So congratulations on that one. We have two left to do. Thank you once again for being here, everybody. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up button. We got 755 likes on that. I love that number. Of course, that's the number of career home runs for Hank Aaron. So thank you, everyone, that has hit the like button. If you haven't hit it yet, I appreciate you considering hitting it. And if you haven't won anything yet, I wish you luck on these last two prizes. These are my two favorite prizes, I guess, that I saved for last. I love the Wander Franco first card. Uh, of course, he's the big rookie right now that everybody is uh, after. So let's see what we could find right now. Eric says, Eric, Jabs, you have helped the card industry so much that we should, as collectors, send you a 1990 no-name on front Thomas Frank Thomas card. I'm just saying, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, I, you know, if, if somebody has that card, I, I, I would hope if they send it to me, they have like at least two or three or four from themselves so that, um, you know, they still get to keep it. I mean, that uh, for anyone that has that many cards, I mean, they would have to be probably living in Michigan and have had to have bought those Michigan boxes. Um, man, that, that is an awesome card. All right. Wander Franco. Let's see what we've got. Let's find the winner for Wander. Here we go. The first Wander Franco, it's Nolan O'Donnell, but let's see if Nolan's subscribed. Then we got that blaster, Nolan O'Donnell. Uh, Benjamin says, do I need to change my name to something weird to win? <laughs> Benjamin, thank you very much. You just need to have this little red dot next to your name. And uh, Nolan, you got the Wander. Congratulations. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And now we're down to the last one. That one says, I just want to jab Heather dual autograph. That'd be cool. I, Heather, we need to make like uh, those Topps custom cards. That'd be a cool thing. Here we go. Last prize of the night. Thank you for being here, everybody. This last one is about a $150 blaster box. It's the 2019 Series 2. This is from my PC. As you guys know, I always toss a couple boxes of uh, sealed stuff on the shelves. I would suggest you do it as well. Brian Smith says, have a good one, Eric. Congrats again, Brian. Thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And thank you, everybody, for being here. Again, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, thank you for spending some time with us. We'll be live tomorrow doing the Select uh, Saturday Showdown. And uh, if you'd like to participate in that, I'm going to toss it up on Patreon tonight. I know it's late, but uh, if you don't get in on it tonight, you can get on it tomorrow. There it is. Possible Tatis, Alo Jimenez, Pete Alonso, Vlad Jr., short print rookie card. Here it is. Who's going to get it? The big moment. Drum roll, please. It is for Tara Ingalls. All right, Tara, let's see if you're publicly subscribed. Tara Ingalls is... She's subscribed. So, Tara, congratulations. You've been subscribed for four months. You got a nice prize right there. It's the Blaster Box of 2019 Series 2, which... You know, it's like $150 a box right now because of the possibility of finding a Tatis and maybe even a Tatis Parallel, which if you find a Parallel of that and get it graded and it comes out of PSA 10, you are, you are, uh, you know, really, really lucky. So thank you very much, everybody, for your support. If you didn't want anything, I do apologize. I only have so many cards and so much time that we can, I mean, we did this for almost two and a half hours here. Um, we'll, we'll do another uh, big 100K giveaway. So I hope that... Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you'll consider subscribing. Help us get to 100K, and um, that, that'll just be, you know, for me personally, that's that's just an awesome, unthinkable number, and I, I, I really appreciate all of your support along the way from 2016 the whole way to now. It's been a nice five-year journey um, opening cards with you guys uh, on a daily basis. And Brian says, thanks for the live show. Glad I was the lucky one. Have a great weekend. Brian, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Everybody that super chatted tonight, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate that. I will be bringing you content from uh, some card stores coming up here. Um, Benjamin says, shucks, love you anyways, Eric. See you at 100, bro. <laughs> Benjamin, thank you very much. I really appreciate that as well. And uh, tomorrow, guys, I hope to see some of you guys in our live stream tomorrow for the Saturday shutdown. It'll be with Select Blasters. Or not Blasters, Select Hobby Boxes. And uh, we've got Sunday, it's going to be World's Greatest Card Chase. 
Uh, we're going to chase after the world's greatest cards, and we're opening 20 blasters of that. Uh, so that'll be a fun one. And then Monday is Mystery Box Monday. Tuesday is going to be a baseball card store video day for you guys. Wednesday's Museum Collection. That's going to be a new release preview. And also, it'll be a live stream. So we got tons of videos lined up for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell. Turn those notifications to all so you don't miss anything. And, uh, you know, check back every night. And we'll have something for you. Thank you very much, everybody, for the support. Have a great rest of your Friday. And have a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.